Lady Obad, I found the object. This is what I was curious about, what this object is. I wanted to show you is It's this. A box. What's in the box? Oh, this is a gadget of some sort? Yes, that would be one way to describe it here. Take a look. Is that a paper inside of it? What's on this paper? Is this an embarrassing picture of Ryoma at the Christmas party? Uh, give me that back. <laughs> They're pictures. You can move the lid to the right and look at them. It is an embarrassing picture of Ryoma at the Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs>
Sure I know, but two bad, two bad now. Two heads are better than one, right? Shh, be quiet. <laughs> there are two heads in the Not another word. The enemy, uh, the enemy patrol, uh, patrol is headed this way. Is the coast clear yet? <sighs> okay, they're gone. Gods, my heart is racing. I was certain they'd spot us. Whew, you really had me going there. Jeez, Mom, I know parents like to bond with their kids, but this is overkill. W what do you mean? Can't a mom look after her son? Uh, enough is enough. I can't think straight when you're here. This whole mission is a bust. Let's go. Huh? Come on, I know a shortcut back. It's time to go home. Um, Asugi, you did the breaking, but you forgot the entering, shouldn't we? It's over. Come on, let's hurry back. Oh, uh, okay. I feel like that scene would play out so much differently if Kagero was uh, Asugi's mom. That'd be kind of funny. It was like, you can't sneak in here. I was like, that's Kagero. What are you talking about? Alright, Saizo, Asugi, what's good? Asugi, I owe you an apology. You apologizing? This feels weird. When you said you intended to share your candy with the woman of the village, I instantly assumed it was a ploy to win their hearts. That was wrong. Ow! Someone clue you in? Yes, I'm told that this is, in fact, a ploy for gathering intelligence. <laughs> they don't talk they don't call it sweet talking for nothing. You'd be surprised what you learn. But why didn't you say anything? This could have all been cleared up with a few words from you. Because if everyone knows, then the technique becomes useless. Besides, you weren't too far off the mark. I'm not just here to win, I'm also here to make friends. Getting to know people I'm supposed to protect is uh, helps me keep my goal in mind. Um, I see. It's certainly different from my approach. Your way would never have occurred to me. What, is that beyond you two? No, I meant only to say. You have different skills, but you find a way to put them to use as a ninja. There's nothing in that for me to criticize. We have our differences, it's true. For a father and son, we have little in common. But I'm starting to think that there might be nothing wrong with that. Dad. You're sure of yourself, which is what counts. Far be it from me to up in that. You should go your own way. Is that your weird way of you giving me your approval? Right? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. You're still not of the Saizo name anymore, Asugi. Let's not say I approve, but rather I... condone. And that, I'll... Oh, I'm gonna have to take out Saizo on Conquest, aren't I? Man, I kind of vibe with Saizo, though. And that I'll listen when you try to tell me something. Yeah, that's a good start. Thanks, Dad. Hmm. <laughs> I'm surprised that wasn't the A scene. That felt like an A scene. All right. Interesting. Uh, we still have Silas. Let's get Silas and let's get Silas and Kana. Silas and Jacob. Silas and Kana. Silas and Jacob. Silas and Kana. Uh, and then after this, we'll look at the comments. This is gonna be such a strange, um, a strange trajectory. It's gonna be like, whoa. Support, whoa, comments, and then, oh, it's time to get things going. All right. Hey, Papa, I've been making a ton of progress on our contest. How about you? Well, I haven't done anything too special, but I think I've been thanked quite a bit. Let's see, I've got a tally here somewhere. Wow, that's a lot. You got all those already? Yeah, I wasn't really expecting you to get so many either. I guess I do a lot more for your mother than I thought. Huh, well, I'm still not going to lose. Here. See, I recorded all mine too, and um, the total is um, wait a minute, this is the same number I have. It is? It is? Haha, <laughs> Kana's gonna beat you big time. After all, I don't have to work, so I can spend all day doing things for mama. That's uh, that's actually a pretty good point. Oh no! <laughs> so you've been spending all of every day helping out, what exactly do you do? Mostly I've been trying to help out around the camp. I spend each morning making arrows for the Fletchers, then at lunch, I chop vegetables for the cooks and hand out the food. Oh, and at night, that's my bean, I make sure the mounts are all fed and outfitted for the next day. Plus, I do a lot of little other things whenever I have the time. It sounds like you're just working. He's just working. That's a lot of work. You've been doing this every day? You really have grown up, haven't you? Huh? 
Just a thought. Maybe I have been treating you too much of a child as well. Wasn't that long ago you were still a babe in swaddling clothing. And now, suddenly, you're making real, important contributions to the army. It just caught me off guard is all. <laughs> he was like, that's my baby boy growing up. <laughs> he <laughs> Yeah, I've been working real hard. Soon there will be nothing I can't do. I believe it. I bet Obad is very grateful for all the work you've been doing. Good work? Huh. I just realized, Mama hasn't really been saying thank you to me very much. She's just been telling me good work and smiles. It's kind of a sad smile come to think of it. Oh! She's like my poor baby's growing up. I wouldn't overthink it. I'm sure she's very, she very much appreciates everything that you've done. Okay, Papa, if you say so. But don't think this means I'm going to let you win. Hm. And same to you. Dang, that was kind of sad. Just like the lingering, like, oh, he's growing up. But that's like, that's that's natural, and that's it's still kind of sad though. Um, let's go ahead and grab Sophie's A with Kana. Sophie, guess what time it is? That's right, it's adventure. Wait, no, it's patrol time. But same thing. <laughs> okay, sure, let's go. Uh, but first, I wanted to ask you for a favor. A favor? What is it? I want you to teach me how to be like you. Huh? What do you mean? Like, how you always say you bounce back after getting discouraged. Cause I'm the youngest kid in the camp, right? So there's still a lot I have to learn. But if something's hard to learn, I can't just give up. So I want you to teach me. Besides, I've always wanted to learn something from my big sister. I used to wonder a lot about what it would be like to spend more time with you. Kana. Isn't that a bean right there? That's a whole bean. <clears throat> So now that I can, I want to learn his- Oh, even their deep realms kept them apart. That's kind of sad. I didn't think about that. I want to learn as much from you as possible. Is that okay? Of course it's okay. I'm so happy you asked. Thank you so much. But I'm not going to let you get ahead of me that easy. I want you- I want to learn from you too. Let's make it a competition. All of these competitions, my gosh. Okay, but I'm not going to be the one to lose, and that's a promise. Heh, <laughs> me neither. You're- everyone- It's a whole family of competition, and then Oba's just like- Thanks, guys. <laughs> Alright then, tomorrow is patrol duty. Tomorrow, the real training begins. Sounds good to me, sis. Those beans. Alright, uh, who else didn't get married? Shiro? Shiro, 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 Shiro. I mean, I guess he would have to, if he could marry anyone, he would have to marry, uh, Mitama. Right? Right. Screw it, let's try and get their scenes. <clears throat> All quiet here too, I guess patrolling is important, but it sure can be dull. Well, what have we here? Mitama sure picked a strange place to fall asleep. Huh. Is it time to wake up already? Did you have a nice nap? Ugh. Oh. Noontime nap in the shade. Dreaming under the thick green leaves. I awake. Refreshed. Refreshed or not, you shouldn't be sleeping here, Mitama. Not even for a moment. War never relents. Every day we must fight on. Only peace in dreams. So exhausted I had to lay down to rest. Makes sense, I guess. But seeing as I have been roused from my slumber, perhaps it's time to return home and sleep. And here I thought you were off to do something productive. But yeah, if you must sleep, then go home and do it. This isn't a great place to not off. Sleep so willful guest. She visits when she pleases. Here she comes now. Hmm. I think I was short a syllable. But with that, I bid you a good night, Shiro. <laughs> I bid you an adieu. <laughs> Uh, it's still afternoon, though. What a strange girl. Okay, but I also want to uh, keep this chicken-licious going. Hey, Rajat! What is it, you barbarian? Are you looking to be cursed? Well, easy there, I brought you something. What is that, some sort of food? Smells good, right? The secret is in the meat. Uh, he's an idiot. Hey, don't judge. I'm not the best cook, but it tastes better than it looks, I guarantee it. I told you, I don't like meat. 
at all. I'm not just saying you should eat the whole thing, just try one bite. Will you give up after that? Yeah, that's all I'm asking. Meat is an important part of your diet. If you don't eat any, uh, eat any you'll waste away. Heh, <laughs> not that you need to worry about that. That's an intense blush. I almost, I almost wish I switched Shiro and Rajat and Mitama and Shigure. <laughs> and then his happy face is like, ha ha, I made a funny. Uh, but you should have some anyway. Starting today, I'm going to use every spell I know to make your life. <laughs> Get ready to suffer, barbarian. Ooh. I think I at least understand where I screwed up this time. Yeah. Yeah, my guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that's all the ones that I wanted to view. No, 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 no. Yukimura. Lady Obot, I found the object. This is what I was curious about, what this object is. I wanted to show you is It's this. A box. What's in the box? Oh, this is a gadget of some sort? Yes, that would be one way to describe it here. Take a look. Is that a paper inside of it? What's on this paper? Is this an embarrassing picture of Ryoma at the Christmas party? Uh, give me that back. <laughs> They're pictures. You can move the lid to the right and look at them. It is an embarrassing picture of Ryoma at the Christmas party. <laughs> oh, it's your parents. Yes, this is what they looked like when you were a baby. If you tug on this rope on the side of the box like so, it changes to the next picture. You might think of it as an automated storybook. Wow, this is amazing. They're all pictures of us. Did you make this, Yukimura? Yes, I drew the pictures as well. Oh, I was right, they don't have cameras. That's right, he drew them all. It took some qui uh, quite some time. I worked on it... Uh, I worked on it nights on end for you. For me? Yes, at the time, both Queen Mikoto and King Samuragi were very busy. It was difficult for them to find time to play with you. But they didn't want you to feel lonely, so they asked me to make this. That was very kind of them. After you were taken, it broke the queen's heart to see, so I stowed it away. I never thought I'd be showing it to you again one day as a grown lady. Yukimura, I think I remember having seen some of these before. Only just barely, but I do. Mother and father were at my side, laughing. I'm so glad you remembered. I'm sure your parents would be happy. To hear it too. So please, Lady Obad, you must dry your tears. I'm sorry, I didn't even realize. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Please, let me know if there's anything I can do for you. And now that uh, now that if you'd like, you can come by anytime to look at these pictures, okay? I'll do that. Thank you so much. Alright, well in that case, I'm gonna go pop some of these other supports in here, Sugar. Were there any more ones that I wanted to see with you? Ah, uh, your parents. And yeah, well, I mean they're already at A, so I, we can just I can go get the other ones real quick. Yeah, I can just go get the other ones real quick. Let me look at this one. Ha. <sighs> hmm. Kana, you've been staring at that blank piece of paper for twenty minutes already. Can you hurry up and write something already? My patience is wearing thin. But I can't think of anything. What am I supposed to do? I knew this would be too tough for me. Don't be so dramatic. You're making this harder than it needs to be. By looking deeper into the subject of your poem, reach into the river of emotion that rushes within you. Take a deep breath and put all of those feelings into words. It's that simple. No, it's not. This is really hard. Don't you understand me, Tama? I don't know words. I'm four. That's why you're so amazing. <laughs> Writing doesn't come naturally to everyone. Wait a second. I have an idea. Could I maybe start with something easier? Easier? What do you mean exactly? Hmm. Well, poems are similar to word puzzles, don't you think? If that's the case, then why not turn it into an ABC game? That might help me get the ball rolling. So you think that determining a starting letter will make writing a poem simpler? Exactly. Give me an example and I'll use the letters in your name. Hmm. Okay. M stands for my heart is filled with joy. I stands for I appreciate your help, even though you're a little intense. <laughs> T stands for treating everyone with respect and love. He is such a bean. You call that a poem? First off, there are too many syllables. Way too many syllables. And second, it's not truly coming from your heart, Kana. I feel like it is. What do you mean? Is it really that bad? 
That's just not how poems work. Don't just throw out words randomly. Take time to cultivate them. Let each thought come together naturally. By restricting yourself to a syllable limit, each word is filled with precision. Each word means something. Huh. I never thought of it that way. That is actually a pretty good way of thinking about a haiku. Huh. My father once wrote a poem for me many years ago. I found it quite moving. What kind of poem was it? It went like this. I have promised you that I would come to see you. But each time, I can't. I hope that one day, I can look upon your face and smile once again. When I received this poem, I hadn't seen my father for some time. But through his words, I could feel a wellspring of emotion and sadness. It was actually difficult to believe at first. It seemed unlike him, it, yeah, now that I think about it. <laughs> Azama does seem unlike him. I was so taken aback that it actually made me laugh. Why, well, I had no idea that poems could move someone so deeply. It's a bit like magic or alchemy, I suppose. Well, I'm sorry, Mitama. I promise I'll try harder from here on out. Excellent. I'll do everything I can to help guide your progress. Well, all right. Now, I'm gonna save this. And I'm gonna go fetch some scenes. I'll save it in, uh, we'll save it in, uh, we'll save it in this one. Yeah, that'll do. I'm gonna go fetch some scenes real quick. Be right back. It's probably the last set. Yukimura, let's start with you. Hello, Yukimura. Ah, Lady Obad, have you come to look in my pictures again? Yes, I never get tired of them. They seem so familiar and warm, happy. You may take them with you, if you'd like. Really, are you sure? But you've taken such good care of them all this time. Well, they were for you, so... They were made for you, exactly. I think it's right that you should have them. Please don't give it a second thought. Thank you, Yukimura. I'll take good care of them. I'm glad you like them so much. I hope these pictures will be a source of strength for you in these difficult times. Just as they were to me. What do you mean? After you were taken, I would sometimes look at these pictures. I lost my family when I was young, so looking at these always cheered me up. You look so happy in all of them. And I was, of course, very close to your father. When I felt short of hope, these reminded me that there was good in the world. There was still happiness and family and honor. Things worth fighting to preserve. Yukimura, I vow to you on these pictures, on the honor of my mother and father. I will protect Hoshido. I will bring peace to this world, even if I have to eat all of those things that made me KO G Garon again. I'll do it. Then once more, I vow to you. I will give all that I am to help you protect Hoshido. Thank you. I am honored. No, lady. The honor is mine. Cute. That was nice. That was very pleasant. Uh, one more that I did want to get is the ending of this one, Rajat and Kildori. I'm getting that creepy feeling that I'm being watched. My spine is tingling. Hee <laughs> hee. Rajat, what are you doing sneaking up on me like that? Are you here to give me my next lesson? No, I'm afraid we won't be able to continue. What? But I've been practicing everything you taught me. See, look at my eyebrow. I'm arching it, just like you told me to. The people's eyebrow, like the rock. And I've been practicing that laugh too. Hee <laughs> hee. Not bad. But you're mis uh, but being mysterious is more than wiggling your eyebrows and giggling. I've thought it over, and being devious doesn't look good on everybody. If you say so. Kaldori, there are plenty of people in this world, rather this army, who wish they could be more like you. Me? But I'm so predictable. That's not a bad thing. You're good in being fair. You're good and fair and dependable. People count on you to take care of things, just like they count on me to cause trouble. See? We need both types of people. Can you imagine an army of only Rajats? Actually, no. I can't. Oh lord. Now that I think of it, it's not a bad idea. In the meantime, I'll be me, and you be you. That sounds good. Thanks, Rizad. I'll, I'll see you. Anytime. Hey, Kildori. Where are you hurrying off to? Hee <laughs> hee. Wouldn't you like to know? That's my little secret. Huh. Maybe she paid more attention than I thought. <laughs> That was neat. That was cute. Did have a cute little, uh, cute little scene there at the end. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Y'all can have that. Best friends. All right, so we're gonna end with you and Asugi, I think. Um, I might have to do one more uh quick addition because I think I'm gonna try and uh get an S scene with either 
Kana and Mitama or Shiro and Mitama. But I guess they're only a B right now. So we'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, so I guess we could just go to Silas first. Uh, Shigeru, was there anything? Yeah, Shigeru, you have three. Uh, let's start with Silas and his children. His kiddos, his kiddaroos. Kana? Grumble. Hey, Kana, what is it? Hi, Papa. How? Huh? What's wrong? I'd expected you to still be exulting over your victory in our little contest. Oh, no, I'm still happy about that, I guess. It's just that I was trying to do things for Mama earlier, and, but she made me stop. She said I should be spending more time playing around with my friends. She still thinks that I'm just a kid. Uh, haven't I shown her that I can help out with stuff too? Am I messing up? Is she pretending that I'm doing a good job? Oh, is that all? Ha! Ha ha! You don't have to worry, Kana. It's not you. Then why doesn't she want me to help her with anything? Obad knows full well you're capable of taking on new responsibilities. But it just makes her worry. And it makes her lonely. Huh? But why? She doesn't want you to miss out on your childhood. And she doesn't want you to, uh, to lose her little boy, her sweet baby, <laughs> her sweet baby dragon boy. She's happy to see you growing up, but she's worried you uh, you, uh, you won't need her anymore. But I'm trying to pull my own weight. I don't get why that would be a bad thing. I'm not sure I can explain it myself, but I have a suggestion for you. Keep helping your mother like you have been, but don't work yourself quite as hard. Take breaks to see your friends and play games. And it wouldn't hurt to try and spend some quality time with her now and then. Thinking you can handle that? But! <laughs> hmm? Don't you want to spend time with your mother? No, th that's not it. I just feel like... I feel like that stuff is for babies. No, Kana. It's not for babies. It's for children. And your mother wants you to be a ch child for just a little while longer. We both do. Papa. We know you're growing up and that you want to be relied upon. You're going to be a great man someday. We both know it. But for right now, relax. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> At least a little bit. Here and there. Okay. Thanks, Papa. I'll think real hard about everything you've said. Good. You know, I think it would be good if you spent some quality time with your mother tonight. Have a nice night in. Just the two of you. I'll go talk uh, to her about it right now. Wait. Aren't you going to stay with us? Huh? No, I've got plans with some other people and a cu- What? In a what? <laughs> Where does he have plans, Silas? <laughs> Don't you need to take a break sometimes, too? I thought you wanted me and Mama to be happy. Okay. Sure. When you put it like that, I can't really say no, can I? Yay. I'll never be able to say no to that, but <laughs> look at that face, of course you can. Night in with the family, huh? Maybe I could get used to this. Family man, Silas. That's my... That's my guy. That's my guy. I almost called him my baby boy, too. Hey, did you see me in that last battle, Daddy? D were you in the last battle? Nobody was really in the last battle except for Obad and Silas. <laughs> Obad, Silas, um... Azura and Felicia were the last battle. That's, that's who was the last battle. With a showing like that, how could I have missed it? You were flawless. In fact, you didn't get hit at all, although you didn't hit anybody else either because, you know, uh, Obad murdered Garon. Uh, hee hee. I'd say I've improved a little bit, wouldn't you? I know I shouldn't expect results right away, but come on. It's true, you know? But yes, I'm thrilled to see you mature into a knight before my very eyes. Well done, Sophie. Aw, oh, Daddy, you're embarrassing me. Hee hee. You wanted to hear this, Sophie. <laughs> Ridiculous. You've been making extra, uh, working extra hard lately. And yes, you've made some mistakes along the way. But that is a sure sign that you're also making progress. I just hope I'm not falling behind. What? But you're already a great knight. What's left for you to learn? Quite a lot, actually. I feel like my skills plateaued around when you were born. I fear I said some rather self-righteous things for a man of my station. N no way, Daddy. That's not your fault at all. It's barely been any time at all in this world since I've been born. Fair, actually. Weren't you the one who told me nobody gets better overnight? Touche. I did say that, didn't I? Haha. <laughs> Personally, I'd like it better if you stopped getting better entirely. Why is that? Because then it would be that much easier to catch up with you. What? <laughs> They'd call me Sophie the Great, who surpassed her own father. Together, 
with, with her beloved Avil, they vanquished evil across the land. Hee <laughs> how cool does that sound? Well, I it, it sounds pretty cool except for the surpassing me part. It's a nice goal, but I'm not going to lie down and die. By the time you reach where I am now, I intend to hone my skills considerably. No! They'll never get caught up. Haha, <laughs> you can try and catch me, but I won't make it easy for you. So you really want to make it a competition, huh? Alright. We'd never get to do this stuff if I had a normal childhood, huh? Here's to growing up in the deep realm. Huh. Well, so if you don't have to go that far to appease me... Oh no, I wasn't trying to. I really honestly think that. Sure, it was lonely sometimes, but if I had been raised here, I'd still be in diapers now. I'd much rather get to compete with you in your prime. Fighting at your side is a dream come true. That is kind of, that's kind of nice. That is a kind of heartwarming sentiment. Honestly, your whole world is like a dream to me. I'm, oh, <coughs> don't do that. I'm going to be like foreshadowing. Is it all a dream? Who would have thunk? Is this Link's Awakening? I'm glad things worked out for the best. Just keep watching me, okay? You'll see me become a real knight in no time. I'll improve so fast your head will spin. That's the spirit. You're not my equal yet, but if I work hard, you never will be. Those are my, that's my family. I love them to bits. All right. Uh, so we still have Sophie Asugi. We got Shigure and his family. Let's, yeah, let's, let's. Azura, I'm glad you're, <laughs> I want this. <laughs> I want this scene to be playing, and I want a ghosty wisp instead of a Zora. <laughs> Woo, that was great. We made it to the end of the song. I never imagined that we would be able to make music together again. I know what you mean. I honestly think our singing sounds better than when I was younger. You really matured and are quite an impressive young man. At this rate, your singing skills will eclipse mine in no time. Huh, well that's impossible. We might be singing the same song. But the way you sing has a mysterious power that I don't possess. Mysterious power? What do you mean? You mean like one that if I sing too much, I'll vanish and disappear entirely? Your voice has the power to rally, uh, rally allies and stop enemies in their tracks. I literally cannot do that. I could never sing like that. Shigure, I don't know about that. Ever since I returned, I've had the same persistent thought. I may be your child, but my songs do not have a fraction of the powers yours do. If only I could be more like you. Shigure, you don't want that. If, if singing, my singing is a curse. I know you can sing like me. Or how, how you can sing like me, what? What? How is that possible? My songs may be powerful. But that's only because of the pendant that my mother gave me long ago. So that pendant is the true source of your strength. Indeed, if you were to wear it, perhaps it would have the very same effect. Maybe it would even be more effective. Do you think I could give it a try? No. I'm afraid not, my dear. Overuse... Uh, overuse of this power can destroy your body over time. Destroy? What do you mean? Wait. Can it lead to your death? Well... <laughs> You've worn that pendant for so long. Why don't you stop? Why don't you stop if that's what's causing it? I didn't know it was the pendant. And I'm sure they tell you that at some point, but you learn it here in this. Maybe they don't even tell you at some point. Interesting. Let me take on that responsibility for you. I can't stand to think of you suffering. You are my beloved son, Shigure. I would never dream of saddling you with this burden. I would never give you this pendant. Not now. Not ever. Oh. I see. I'm terribly sorry, son. I never planned to speak of this with you. But know that your songs do have power. They have the ability to ease pain and grant peace of mind to anyone in earshot. Sing with pride, Shigure. One day when this war ends, I'll vanish into nothing, and your songs will be all the people have. I plan on throwing this pendant into a lake. Oh, interesting. It should sink to a place where no one will ever possibly find it or use it again. If I should disappear for some reason, Man, I wish I had seen this before. This is horrible foreshadowing for what happens to her. Please get rid of it for me, Shigure. What? You're the only one I could ever entrust with a task this important. Hmm. Very well. You can count on me. Thank you so much, dear. I hope it never comes to that. I hate to think of you leaving me here. If you do, my curiosity could get the better of me. I might want to use that pendant. 
just know that I'll haunt you for the rest of your days if you do. Hehe, <laughs> I was kidding, I promise. I won't ever harness its power. After all you've done to protect me, I could never betray you. I hate to place such a cruel burden on your shoulders. But you are truly the only one I can trust. Not even your father, <laughs> goodness gracious. It's fine. People don't ask me for help all that often. I'm pleased that you would trust me with such an important task. Uh, would you mind if I asked a favor for you, too? Certainly, what is it? Could we sing our song again sometime? When you aren't wearing that pendant, of course. I swear we will again, someday. Thank you. Maybe in Revelations. I'm looking forward to it. So I have a question. And it's something that I hadn't thought about until in between this episode and the last episode. You know how everyone's hair comes from, like, their, their father's hair color? Or their mother's hair color, rather, right? Never mind. I've answered my own question. We're done here. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> uh, that's- so my question is, does, uh, Shigure get anything from his father? Cause, like, we, or maybe- maybe Kana's hair is also always gray. That- those are my two questions. Is Kana's hair always gray? Cause it felt like Kana's hair was coming from... Silas, right? But it also feels like... But rather, it also could be that Kana's hair comes from the default color of hair from default corn, which is a grayish, silverish kind of color, now that I think about it. Cause that's the color it is in Smash. Um... It, did, what, does Shigure get any physical appearance changes from his father? That's the only thing, that's what I want to know, because I was like, shouldn't his hair be this color? But he's always, um, Azora's son. But I was like, well, Kana's always my son, and his hair's not blue, it's gray. It's gray like Silas, but it might actually just be gray because that's the default color for Corrin. That's something I'd like to know, actually. Let me know that. <laughs> the big day is finally here. It's time for Shigeru's solo exhi uh, exhibition. I wonder how things are going in the tent. Here I go. Wow, this is incredible. The show is totally packed. And everyone looks so happy. Isn't this amazing, Shigeru? Hey, wait a minute. He's not here. Where in the world could he be? <laughs> Shigeru, what happened? Why are you out of breath? Are you just getting here now? How could you be late to your own exhibition? I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still out of breath. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Father. I got here as soon as I could. I had to stay up all night to finish to put the finishing touches on this painting. What? You stayed up all night? Y yes, I did. Don't you recall when I told you not to push yourself? There's already a ton of gorgeous works hanging in here. Take a look around. You're already clearly making everyone happy. Why would you jeopardize the show just for one more painting? I promised that I would complete it, no matter what. I made this because I'm thankful for everything you've done for me, Father. What? Is this your mother and me? Yes, it is. So this is what you've been working so tirelessly on. My love for you two is beyond measure. You brought me into this world, and without you, I would have never been able to paint. So I wanted to pour those feelings of gratitude into this portrait. Shigeru, I don't know what to say. You really are an, are an amazing son. I'm the happiest father in the world. It's hard to breathe when you're hugging me so tightly. Ha! Ha! I'm already out of breath. Ha! Ha! <laughs> I couldn't be more proud. You really captured my likenesses, uh, my likeness quite well. Thanks, Father. Hee <laughs> hee. There's no time to spare. We have to hustle and get these paintings on display. Uh, okay. It's a little embarrassing, though. Why? Because an image? It's an image of your eye-catching parents? This is something to be proud of, not embarrassed. You are right. It's clearly the finest piece in the whole show. Don't you agree, Shigure? Sure, father. Okay, that was cute. Selkie? Oh, hi, Shigure. Gosh, I keep forgetting she's Tommy Pickles. What's the matter, Selkie? You seem pretty unhappy. Well, I wanted to ask you about the animals that you play with. Oh, did you go and visit them while I was out and about? I just... about... Uh, I'm just about to head out now if you want to come along. Do you think you're ready to prove that you don't mean them any harm? About that. I thought a lot about what you said the other day, and I realized that you were probably right, I mean... Right about what they sensed. What do you mean? Were you feeling some strong emotion when you arrived? I was. I was feeling... Jealousy. 
You told me you didn't want to hang out, uh, you didn't want to hang out with me, but you were happy with them. Oh. Oh man, that's all. Oh. It didn't feel fair. So when I got there and all the animals were gathered around, the only thing I could think of was how badly I wanted them all to leave. And that's why they're scared of me. Selkie, I'm glad you thought about this and talked to me. Really? That's good at least, but I don't think I should go back there anymore. Don't say that. I think you should definitely go back. You've opened up, and the animals will be able to tell that you've changed. Now that you don't feel jealous, they'll look at you differently. But, I'm not sure. I am. You didn't have to tell me that you were feeling jealous, but you did anyway. That tells me that you've got a good soul inside of you. Uh oh They'll be able to tell too. Look, there's a rabbit coming this way. Oh, oh, what do I do, Shigeru? What do I do? Just calm down, relax, take a deep breath, quiet your mind, and be peaceful. Just think about how you want to be friends with the furry critter. Huh, he let me pet him. It's working! And now he's looking at me. He's not running away. This is great. I told you it would be okay, Selk. It would all be okay. You were right. I'm so glad. I, I was so sure that all the animals hated me. Now that you'll be able to get along with all of them, I think you and I will as well. Let's go to the clearing in the woods. I bet your new friends will be waiting there. Yay, let's go! Hee hee hee. Thank you, Shigure. Well, that was cute, too. That was nice. I'm, I'm a fan of that. That was, that was a beautiful moment. Alright. Got an A scene there. We got an A scene with, uh... With, 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 with. Rajat and Shiro. <laughs> Just because, you know, I, I, that sounds funny to me. It was a funny time. Let's start with Shiro's first. Um, how are you and Rajat hanging out? Sniffle, sniffle. Ra, ra, rachu. This is one heck of a curse you put on me. My nose won't stop running. I know. It'll stay like that for four more days. What? That's horrible. But I guess I deserve it after what I did. Sniffle, sniffle, honk. <laughs> It'll blow your nose someplace else. Sorry, I can't help it. But I made you this as an apology. Come on, just try it. Meat again? How many times do I need to tell you I hate meat? Huh? Okay, there's some meat in it, uh, in it but it's mixed in with fried veggies. I went easy on the oil too, I think you'll really like it. Uh, are you gonna try it or? Fine, but I don't understand. Why are you so bent on making sure I eat this stuff? I just want you to be healthy. You're always lurking in the shadows, so I thought maybe you were sick. No, brooding the shadows is just my idea of a good time. <laughs> really? <laughs> because ordinarily it's a sign that someone is feeling down about something. We're all allies, and I want all my friends to be healthy. So that's what this was about. But I guess I had you wrong. You're healthy enough to curse me, that's for sure. I'll just eat the rest myself. Wait. Huh? May I have some of your food? Whoa! Yeah, sure, take all you want! I've got enough for seconds if you're feeling extra hungry. Eh, don't get ahead of yourself. I'll just have a little morsel, and if it's good, maybe I'll lift the curse. No joke? Why not? I'm feeling merciful. And it's very nice of you to worry about me. I'm uh, sorry, what? You were doing that creepy whispering thing. Yeah, yes, it was an incantation to lift the curse. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, you know, that was, that was kind of nice. That was kind of sweet. Um, Shiro, Mitama, what's good? I'm still sleeping, I'm still sleeping. That's, is that the Mitama sleeping song? What did I tell her about singing in her sleep so openly? <laughs> hey, Mitama, wake up. Uh, what is it now? Sleep interrupted, thrust into the waking world. A boorish voice cries. I was having a pleasant dream, too. Well, excuse me for being boorish, but I've already told you it's not that safe to sleep here. On the contrary, I've examined the area thoroughly before bedding down. Oh yeah? Did you? And? Oh? Uh, don't just conk, every, conk out every time you have a free moment. Wait a minute. I just realized, but I'm gonna keep going. That's correct. If I have no other duties, uh, I sleep. Why? Because the world of dreams is so... Are these two cousins? Are these two cousins? These two are cousins, aren't they? They're cousins, aren't they? They have to be, right? Your father is Ryoma. Your mother is Sakura. 
their cousins. I guess even if... No, if you married Shigure, it would have been fine. But if you married Rajab, you still would have been cousins. There's- this- this game is so messy because there's so many siblings. Besides, wouldn't you agree that it's vital to get sleep whenever you can? I'm pretty sure I've already had a pair of cousins marry, probably. Vital? Yes, one must be well-rested. Let me think about it. Asagi, no. He would be fine marrying my- <laughs> Mosu's gonna be my little sister. Um, that, that brings me great joy. Um... Takumi and a Boro. No, I think I think I somehow avoided a bunch of cousin relationships, and then there's this one. Yeah, whatever. And since we have no knowing of when the next engagement might be, we ought to take every chance we can to get that rest. Huh. A dullard's question. Why slumber every chance you get? The answer. My answer is, why not? Uh, too many syllables. I was gonna say, that seemed like a little too many syllables, huh? It's nothing, excuse me. Seems to me like she should wait until she actually needs the rest, but oh well. Alright, well, I think I might pair those two up, but you know, why not? Uh, Kiragi, uh, Dwyer. Dwyer, Dwyer is, uh, nope, he would be fine regardless. Um, Selkie. With Felicia, no, yeah, you're fine. Yeah, I think we just, yeah, that would, if I would have switched the other, uh, from where we were, Shiro was just doomed to marry a cousin regardless, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, Kana and Mitama, and then... And then we'll just hit up a, um... We'll hit up an S scene for one of those two. We might just hit up an S scene for these two. Hey, Mitama, you gotta listen to this. Calm down, Kana. What's gotten into you? What's gotten you excited all of a sudden? Remember how you were teaching me about poems the other day? Well, I put on my thinking cap, sat in my thinking chair, and I think. Came up with one all my own. You want to hear it? Uh, this isn't another one of your strange word puzzle poems, is it? No way. This is an honest to God's poem. Just let me read it before you judge me. Ahem. My pal Matama is great at writing poems, and she's amazing. See, wasn't that great? Well, that was an improvement. But I'm afraid you still have a great deal of work to do. What do you mean? This was way better. Are you saying it's still not good enough? It's no good, Kana. As a matter of fact, it's no good at all. Do you really think you'll move someone's heart by making a simple statement? Wake up, Kana. That's not real poetry. Come on, Mitama. But maybe you're right. Don't lose heart, you're clearly improving. Huh? Do you mean it? Yes, of course, I wouldn't lie to you. Yay, Mitama complimented me, I did it, hooray! Don't start celebrating just yet. There's one thing that every true poet must accomplish. You have to be able to write a genuinely moving piece. Doesn't matter if it's romantic or simply about deep friendship, but it must come from a place of love. Oh, I see. I guess I'll just have to keep working with you. Hee <laughs> hee. So you want to keep going, eh? I'm impressed. I thought you'd given up by now, or you'd give up by now, but perhaps I underestimated you. Yeah, maybe so. Uh, Mitama, why are you making such a scary face all of a sudden? I'm just having a moment of inspiration. My mission is to guide you within the world of poetry. I will dedicate myself to helping you on your journey. Uh, okay. Wow, she seems really motivated. I hope this ends up being fun. You're doomed, Kana. You're doomed. But we're sending you to poetry class. Uh, I'm gonna actually uh, support Mitama and Kana. Why? So I don't have Shiro marrying his cousin, and then Hoshijo's gonna be like, What are you doing over here? What are you doing? <laughs> and then we'll just uh, end this with two us supports, Sophie and Asugi and Kana and Mitama, and then we will call this the end of Birthright. Let's get it. Boom, boom, boom. All right, here we go. The last couple. Uh, I did go ahead and pluck this S scene, I mean this A scene, because I mean like we're here already. Cloudless skies above. Sun filters through the branches. Perfect for a nap. Hmm, someone has beaten me to it. That's Shiro, is it not? Wakey-wakey. Ah, uh, Mitama. What's wrong? Why are you sleeping here? 
I was thinking about what you said, how we should rest when we get the chance. So I was seeing for myself what it would be like to sleep in the open. Huh. That sounds kind of... Like something I made up on the spot? Yeah, how about that? But I thought there might be some truth to what you said. So I gave it a try and it felt surprisingly good. Like I got my second wind. Thanks for the advice. From an outside perspective, it does look curious, doesn't it? Napping near a battlefield, that is. You think so? A new perspective. Seeing what others once saw. I feel shame's first brush. I will reconsider sleeping outdoors. That means you'll stop, right? No, but I'll do it a little bit less often. So I guess you've learned nothing here today. Then again, I as long as you don't let your guard down, I guess it's not that bad. I at least proved to myself that there are some benefits that I had considered. To walk in one's shoes, or to sleep beneath one's tree, so we grow closer. I think it's healthy to share our customs with other people once in a while. I couldn't agree more. Hey, try this chicken, it's a part of my customs. Hmm. This chicken is divine. It melts in my mouth. Perfect. It's chicken delicious. Alright. Nice, that's a haiku. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, <laughs> um, our last two scenes, we're going to end with Sophie and Asugi. Uh, let's start with Kana and Mitama. Their S scene. I gotta give my I gotta give my baby boy a best friend. I said I was gonna do it. And here is his new best friend, the poetry lover herself. There you are, Mitama. I've been working on a no other poem. You wanna hear it? Oh, it's you, Kana. Sure, I'd love to hear it. You've been making great strides, so I'm curious to see what you've come up with. Okay, I think you'll find this one really moving. Okay, here it is. If I put my heart for you into this poem and read it to you. Would you do me the honor of being my friend? Kana, how sweet. I wanted to read you my poem and give you this flower I picked to thank you. Even though it was difficult, you helped me learn about how pretty poems can be. I had no idea. It's like I see everything differently now. You really put my heart into I really put my heart into writing this for you, Mitama. Do you like it? How can this be? Though simple, your poem did touch my heart. I simply can't deny it. Really, you found it touching? I did, Kana. It may not be perfect, but it came from your soul. Well done. I'm so happy. Thanks, Mitama. While this was a great first step, you must keep striving to improve. Every poet, every great poet, has to work tirelessly to improve their craft. Huh, I guess that makes sense. So do you still work on writing every day? How do you know when you actually become a real poet? That's very difficult to say. I write each and every day. But am I a master? No, not yet. And perhaps I never will be. But my heart beats for nothing else. Well, I just know you're going to be the greatest writer of all time. You're far too kind. Kana, say, I've got an idea. Would you like to hear it? Of course, what is it? Why don't we go for a nice long walk? We can find a nice quiet clearing and work on our writing together. How does that sound? Awesome. I have my brush and paper ready to go. Excellent. Then follow me, young poet in training. <laughs> Poets forever. Okay, that was kind of nice. That was kind of neat. And it didn't... It, Kana's such an adorable bee, and I understand why I'd, only one of his S supports, at least on this route, uh, in semi-romantically. And... Well, it's Selkie. It's, it's Selkie. It, it, she's basically a bee in two. Alright, you two. Asagi, you got me my first and only gold ball. And although you were slightly a jerk to her, she improved because of it. I give you the approval. To marry my daughter. Go ahead. <laughs> Fumble, Sophie, are you okay? Asugi? They're they're gone now. It's it's alright. Yeah, I just I didn't know what to do. They were surrounding me. I could have died. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. They've been routed. It's done with. Remember that last time this happened? You knocked them over like it was nothing. Just charged the whole lot. I bet the same thing would have worked this time. Yeah, but that's the problem. This time wasn't like last time. Last time wasn't as bad, but here, there were just so many of them. If you hadn't pushed through at the last second, I might not be here right now. And last time, I could focus because I was angry and wanted to prove you wrong. 
What do I do when I don't have that? Selfie. I don't know. That's not something anyone can figure out but you. But I'll tell you what. Until you do, we won't let you get cut off alone again. Because I'll be right by your side from now on, okay? Asugiyu? I don't know what I'd do if I lost you, Sophs. Sophs! Uh, he said the Sophs! He said Sophs! That's what I call it! And I know you've got the strength in uh, you to handle anything. But until you find it, uh... Know you can rely on me, okay? I, um... I, um... Well, it's like this. He <laughs> sounds like someone's in love <laughs> You're such a dork, Sophie! <laughs> in love with me! Hey, I'm being serious here, and so what if I am? Aw, oh, I'm only teasing. Thank you, Asagi. It means a lot to me. And, uh, maybe I feel something for you, too. Just maybe? Well, maybe I'm also sort of totally infatuated. But I guess you'd never know unless you took me out. <laughs> I reckon I could do that. I know this bakery, next down over actually. Best piece of cake you'll ever taste. Oh, that sounds delightful. Oh, Asugi, I can't wait. Me neither, Sophs. Me neither. Oh my, no, no, he's, 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 he's secretly a bean too. He was like, ah, well, it's kind of, it's sort of like this. <laughs> I'm sated. That's the great, that's a, that's the perfect way to end birthright. And... As Birthright ends, the real struggle begins. I have to change that, don't I? I gotta change that. I do. I, I have to change that. I'm- look, you guys- I forgot that I, this is all around me and I, I was looking and I was like, oh, it's not- I have to- what is even the Birthright's, like, little logo seal thing? Uh, here. I might be able to do that, like, really, really quickly. Um. Uh, where would it be? Uh, there. Consistently used. F-E. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me the F-E backing. <clears throat> this might all stay in, by the way. <laughs> really might all stay in. Uh, open up the both of these. Uh, let's see, let's see. That's that one. This is this one. I'd have to find... That can stay... Oh, I gotta get rid of Obot's picture, too. I gotta make the, uh... Well, we're gonna make the new character shortly. Uh, they definitely will not be on during this, um... Doom! Doom! They won't be on during this, uh... What is this? This something. This, this, uh, this episode, rather. Because they have not been made, and then I have to make them, like, separately. But then they'll be on next episode. Um, I guess we can open this, uh, we can search, uh, Fire Emblem, uh, Conquest, and, Emblem? Question mark? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> Emblem just, wait, is that the one? Is that what I need? Is that it? Oh, it might be it. Uh, copy, um, Fire Emblem Conquest, is that it? That's not it. They lied to me. I've been lied to. Conquest kind of looks like a like a like a like a E with another E on the other side. It's like a, a flip reverse E. This is the one for Revelations. I might as well save this one on this file too. Oh, that's uh not what I wanted. Uh, let's see. Put that here. I'm gonna end up cutting this out. No, I won't. You guys are gonna see all of this. This is just you know the the. Ooh, let me make this a lot smaller. Yeah, okay, we'll save that here, uh, just for, because I'm going to do Birthright eventually. Click that. <clears throat> Not Birthright, freaking, um, Revelations. I can't find any semblance of the... There it is, goodness gracious. Why was it so hard to find this one? Oh, it's also kind of like a purplish... Neat! I like that color, actually. It's not like purple purple, but it's like a... Uh, yikes, that's really big. That's a really big, uh, really big image. It's like, um... Maintain aspect ratio, make it about 400 by 452. Um, it's like a, a like a, a pink, like a, like a pinkish purple. 
It also kind of has a, a slight gradient to it to white. Uh, kind of a big fan of it, I'm going to be completely honest. This is actually about 118 by 120, so let's resize that again to um, 115 so it fits a little bit more perfectly. Get rid of that, get rid of that, and then put that there. And then for right now, just stick that right there. Do I want a drop shadow on that? Mm, I didn't have a drop shadow on the other one. I guess for right now, I can just be right there. Uh, save, do that, fire emblem, backing, what game is this? This is Conquest? Thank you. Conquest. Here we are setting this up live. Uh, that's saved, don't need to edit that one, and now, goodness gracious, this is where things probably won't get difficult. But hopefully won't have like a hiccup in the um <clears throat> a hiccup in the whatchamadoodle. The who's a what's it's the the recording. But this is also a very short recording that's right here. Uh give me this. Uh just switch it real quick. Say goodbye to Obot. Oh! Oh no, it just did it right there. Yeah, I was waiting for like the transition to happen, but I guess it's just there. Nice. Obot's gone, but we're about to meet the Corin. And we will play as we begin. Conquest. Gosh, I already miss Obod. Obod was so fun. But I, I'm just gonna go with what I feel for this one. We played as a, uh, played as tall female. Let's go for the opposite short male this time around. Um, ooh, a headband. Oh, I like that. Oh, I really, I wish I could rotate. Can I rotate this? I can, yeah, I can. Nice, nice, nice. I love the headband. I really do. I love the headband a lot. I also kind of like the, the one eye over. Uh, I kind of also like this one that kind of has like a, a little like fringe on the side there, but I think the headband is, uh, I think the headband might have won me over. We'll see. Because I also want to use a, either a deep blue or like a deep purple for this one. Maybe a, maybe a, maybe a bluish purple? That's more of like a, a light purple. That's, hmm. I like this. I do like this. Let's view it. What does this one look like? I want one of the purples. I think I like the darker one. I like the lighter one on the image, but I like the darker one on the model. Darker, darker. I really like the lighter one. I like the lighter one. Let's go for it. Do I, though? Darker one. We're going for the darker one. Especially since, uh... Obad was a morning... Uh... A morning serenade. Uh, this corn should be more of a, a darker, deep night sky. So I'm, I'm feeling like the purplish, like, starry night kind of dark purple. I like that for here. I like that. Starry night. Ooh. Interesting. So I kind of want to... I need to take the eye patch off. I'm being completely oh, mole. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, there's scars. That's an interesting scar, actually. Uh, that's interesting as well. Oh, the nose bandage, like our uh, like our current OC champion. Current OC champion. Current OC champion. Yes. Uh, the nose bandage. Uh, oh, you can get a freaking. Yep. That man's getting a cheek mole right there. All right. Now, now I can look at the eyes in their fullest intent. Hmm. I'm not against the uh the kind of like dark the dark eyes like cuz you know we're we're going to conquest. So I kind of want to like don't want to play the villain, but I kind of want to, you know, a little bit more of a, a a a deeper uh oh, he looks so happy. A deeper a deeper a darker tone for the score, you know? You know? 
Even though I'm pretty sure this corn is still gonna be like, I'm corn and I'm great. But this 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 kind of darker this darker brooding the dark eyes the Mises are like he's up all night he's up all night you know you know we're we're, I, we're like character crafting right now but we're really story crafting as well that mole he's a scandal that's a scandalous one all right I gotta how do I view these voices hey I can always count on you I trust you it's over hey ready for this we're not done yet let's go I trust you were there more female voices? Or were there still only three? Hey, let's go. I can always count on you. I trust you. We're not done yet. Let's go. Ready for this? Ready for this? We've got this. Ready for this? Let's go. I can help too. We're not done yet. I trust you. Let's go. I trust you. I kind of like the I trust you on that one the best. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. I can help too. I can help too. Let's go. I trust you. I kind of like that unsure I trust you here as well. Alright, well, here we go. Uh, body. I guess these are all the things that we selected. I think I'm okay with this Corrin. Oh, Obad. Oh, oh, I miss her already. I do. Gosh, I really miss Obad. <clears throat> I miss her. I do. I really do. Um, dang. Obad was great. Obad was great, but we have uh, another one here. Uh, darker, dark night skies. Night. He's a night boy. Night. Night, 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 night. Night. Starry skies. Starry skies. Dark nights, but he could be the... He's the glowing light in the dark night. He's a glowing night in the dark. He's a glowing light in the dark night, but you know that gets tiring sometimes. It gets tiring, but with the darkness around him, he can't help but brood a little bit. I want him to be a little broody. I want him to be a little bit of broody. I want him to be a little broody boy. That's a good question, though. I have no idea what to call him. <laughs> um. Hey, the source gave us a great, uh, great something great in Obad. So, starry night. Thesaurus. Bespangled. Astral's not terrible. Astral's not terrible. I feel like we could do better than Astral. Celestial, no. Heavenly. Luminous. Stellar. Uh, idealistic. Idealistic, that's ridiculous. Clear eyed, uh. Quixotic. Never even heard of. Oh, I guess I never heard of Obot either. Lucid. Hmm, maybe not. Lucent. Lucent. I kind of like Lucent. Fulgent? Fulgent. I like Fulgent and Lucent, to be completely honest. Uh, Fulgent. 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 Dazzlingly bright. Radiant. I kind of like Fulgent. Fulgent's kind of dope. Astral and Fulgent. I really like Fulgent. I, I was on Lucent, and then I looked down and saw Fulgen. I, hmm. Anything else? Anything else? Because I, I might... Fulgen's pretty good. I really do like Fulgen. Lucent, though? Lucent. Lucent. Fulgen. Fulgen. I like Fulgen. I do. I'm going with Fulgen. Fulgen's great. Obad Fulgen. Uh, the thing is, like, the opposite of an old bot is a serenade, and I don't want to call this man serenade. Uh, Fulgent. I like Fulgent, because it's like a, you know, he's the glowing light on the... He's the glowing Fulgent light in the darkened sky. Fulgent. Yep. Make sure I spelled that right. Yeah, I spelled it right, and if I didn't... Oopsie doodle. <laughs> Fulgent, same. Uh, now, here's where I can, like, play around. Robust, calm, sturdy, lucky, quick, deft. I kind of like quick a lot. Clever. I like quick. Uh... 
if I were to think he I think he's dull. I think his bane is I think he's a little bit dull. Um do I want him to be magical though? That's the that's the real question. Outlaw Dragon. Oh dragon, oh well, I mean that makes sense. Ninja, I don't well we won't have ninjas on this route, which is interesting. Uh fighter. I don't even think I got Obad. Yeah, I didn't get Obad lethality, which is kinda crazy. Um Outlaw Samurai Lancer Monk Sky Knight <sighs> Kinda like the idea of Outlaw. I like the idea of Outlaw. I'll go for it. Let's go for it. Outlaw. Am I good? Am I ready for this? I'm ready for it. Would you like to receive? No, I'm good. Oh, right. I have to save over a... F well, I have all of these files backed up, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, dang. I haven't saved on these files in a long time. I forgot they existed. Here we go. We'll save over... Chapter 0. Chapter 6. The path is yours. You're not hurt, are you? Fulgent! You're alive! They haven't harmed you, have they? Big Brother! Xander, I'm fine. But why are you invading Hoshido? Let us begin. Father says it's time to show our true strength. Gosh, not him. Ugh, I'm sick and tired of Father. Join us and we'll end this quickly. If we conquer Hoshido here and now, we can avoid unnecessary bloodshed. It didn't give me a chance to set the... I guess we're playing on Classic. <laughs> Never mind to any of my plans. We can avoid unnecessary bloodshed. Xander. I, I need a minute. Stay alert. Yo, he's so he's so contrastly different to Obod's appearance, and I'm really vibing with it right now. Be careful, Fulgen. That man is a Norian commander. Big brother. Ryoma. Fulgen, I was so worried about you. Don't ever wander away from me again, boobs. You have the devil's own luck. I'm glad you're okay, Fulgen. You must have the devil's own luck. <laughs> Yay! Yay, we got our brother back. Norian scum! First you kidnap him, now you lie to him? Fulgen is my brother, not yours. No. You're mistaken, Fulgen is my sweet little brother. You may not have him. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by their words. Gosh, I'm gonna miss Ryoma, my lobster brethren. You belong with your true family in Hoshida. He loved you and raised you since you were a child. Come home, little prince. We can live as a family once more. Come home to Hoshido, Fulgent. Now, Fulgent, nor is your home. This way. Okay. Sure. Big, big brother. All right, I'll go that way. Fine, that's fine. He's my brother. Wait, hold on. I already saw you die once. I gotta, I gotta make sure you don't die again. Wait a we minute. We are your family. Zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> I think I must have commented on this once. I must have commented on this once. Where this is basically the, the freaking Dongon Rampa <laughs> pre trial image. <laughs> One of these people is a murderer. <laughs> My family. I almost accidentally chose uh, Birthright again. That would have been uh, kind of funny. Alright, Nor. Let's see what's good. Test your skills and devise complex strategies while progressing with limited experience to points and gold. I, whoa, I hate that. Embrace the dark. Oh, I couldn't have picked a better, a better protagonist. <laughs> Fulgent, embrace the dark. I know what I must do. Uh, Ryoma, withdraw your troops. It can't be. You, you don't mean that, Fulgent. You, you can't possibly. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Ryoma, but I will not fight for Hoshido. What? How can you say that? Open your eyes. Can you not see how vile these Norians are? They're hateful fiends who wish to trample Hoshido. They killed our mother. No! It's not that simple. I know what the Norian kingdom has done to Hoshido, and it's unforgivable. And I know that these are not my brothers and sisters by birth. Yet even still, I must, fi I must side with them. My heart will not allow me to do otherwise. Gods, no. How can you fight alongside those monsters after what they did? 
Now that you know of their sins, how can you possibly justify in joining them? You're a prince of Hoshido. You are my brother. They are to blame for you not growing up with us as you were meant to. Do you truly mean to fight for those who stole you away? No. Ryoma. My sorrow is beyond words. Still, I simply will not ama abandon the only family I've ever known. Do, 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 these, do these text boxes have like a slightly darker hint to them? Like a slightly more purple, like a, a more purple hint? Interesting. Everything's okay. You did the right thing, Fulgent. And, as you know, you do not share the same bloodline as the rest of us. But it matters not. I have regarded you as family ever since I first laid eyes on you. I cannot express what it means that you have chosen to return to us. Father will be pleased with your decision as well. Are you certain of that, Prince Sander? Surely you must know of King Garon's attempt to murder Fulgent. What? Explain yourself swiftly. Listen. There was an attack in our capital square. The explosion came from, uh, from Fulgent's sword. If Mother had not sacrificed herself, he would be dead now. If Garon truly cares, why would he risk Fulgent's life just to hurt Hoshino? He's right. He's right. Is this true, Fulgent? Well... It is. But I still need to hear Father's side of the story. That's why I must return home right away. I must know the truth of this tragedy. Not on my watch. I'm afraid that's not an option. Uh-oh. I know what he can do, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah! Everyone, attack Fulgent. I will not allow you to return to Nor until we've settled this on the battlefield. Huh? Yama, please don't do this. Show no mercy. If you are looking for forgiveness, you'll find none here. If you wish to, uh, so you wish to side with Nor, then you must first defeat your true brother. It is your birthright to fight at my side. He, he said the words, to fight at my side. I cannot forgive the choice that you made. How dare you use a secret Yato blade against your own kingdom? Perhaps it is a blessing Mother isn't here to witness your betrayal. <laughs> yeah, but we got Xander. Stand down. Stand down, Prince of Hoshido. I will not allow you to cause any further harm to Fulgent. I've been waiting for this. Order me around once more and Honor will lose two princes today. I will do what I must to awaken my brother from the spell that binds him. You vile Norians have brainwashed him. Oh, how funny. You, they said that you brainwashed me. You're saying that they brainwashed me. Maybe my brain is fine. I just clicked a button. I will not rest until he is free. Ugh. More false accusations. You know very well he chose this of his own free will. You saw the buttons on the screen. We all appeared on the Danganronpa... <laughs> on the Danganronpa image. We're about to go to a class trial. No match to the blood that courses through his veins. We are his true family. That will never change. I will not stand here and listen to your lies. Your heart knows only deceit and betrayal. Norians are notorious for their cruel and cowardly methods, and this is no different. But enough of your foolish words. We must resolve this with blades. Let us begin. So be it. I always knew this would come. It would come to this, rather. The crown prince of Nor clashing blades with the Hoshido's heir. It's almost poetic. But Mitama won't exist in this route? <laughs> Uh-oh. Please, stop this madness, both of you. Xander, I beg of you. Let it go for now. We must return to Nor right away. There's already been enough senseless death on this day. No. Dang, I was gonna say, we're actually gonna walk away? I'm afraid retreat is not an option. Uh, Leo, why would you say that? Know this. They don't have the devil's luck. If we retreat, <laughs> that's one of my favorite lines from him, and I haven't even gotten so many lines from him. If we retreat, they'll think we fear them, or worse, that we coerced you into joining us. This is our chance to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that you chose of your own volition. We have to. Uh, we have no choice but to stand our ground and fight. True. I agree with Leo. After all, we've done nothing wrong. Why should we flee? You're one of us, Fulgen. This is worth fighting for. It'll work out. Don't worry, Fulgen. Everything is okay now that we're together again. If we try our hardest, there's no way we can lose. Uh, I see. Is that really what you want, Leo? Camilla? Even Elise? Come on. If you mean to fight, then fight. Norian pawns. Soon you shall be a mere stain on my blade, Raijinto. Uh-oh. Hinoka, 
Takumi, Sakura, are you ready? Ready and waiting. Like I'd ever let them take Fulgen away from us again. No mercy. Show no mercy. Now's our chance to avenge Mother's death. I'll help too. I'll help too. I'll do my b -b 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 best. Please, Fulgen, come back to us. You have my pity. April Fools. <laughs> fools in April, all of you. You have my pity. Sadly for you, my blade, Siegfried, knows nothing of pity, only triumph. Camilla, Leo, Elise, prepare for battle. Yes. I swear to protect our dear Fulgen no matter what. Failure is no option. Correct. Let us show these scoundrels what it means to be a family. Uh, yeah. I'm ready. Oh yeah! <laughs> I'm ready too. Let's finish this quickly, though I'm starving. You have breathed your last. This is it. Attack! Prepare yourself. It begins. Dang. Just in time! <gasps> Felicia! I'm so relieved to see you're still alive. Not that I ever doubted. Felicia, what are you doing here? Did Jacob come here at this point too? Heck if I remember. What are you doing here? What? Oh uh. dear, don't speak so abruptly, or I'll think you're not happy to see me. I've been searching for you ever since we got separated at the bottomless cannon. I got a little lost, and then I tripped here and there and hit my head, so it took a little while to get here. That's the Felicia I know and love. But what's important is that I'm here now to lend you a hand. Defeat four enemies? Oh. Okay. Well, uh, they didn't let me save. Um. Oh, I have Yato? Bet. I mean, might as well. Uh, Leo, what do you have? That's cool. Uh, defeat four enemies. Is that my guy over here? It is. Uh, he has that, though, and I hate that he has that. Raijinto. Mm, that's a good blade right there. Uh, Hinoko and Takumi are both there together. Uh, who are you? Oh, Yukimura's with them. Yukimura wasn't with us, I don't think. But I guess they need another person. Now that I think about it. Okay, well, let's think about it like this. We only have to defeat four of them. Uh, do we not have a bow person on our side? Where's the breast one? There she is. Uh, she has an axe. You have heal and freeze, which is kind of dope. Um... And y'all both have good, like, range. Um... Wonder how good you are compared to... Oh, we can't cross this broken bridge. That's unfortunate. Can't cross this broken bridge, but you can definitely fly over there to help him if he really, really needs it. You're a mechanist, and I think you have a bow, don't you? You do. That's, uh... Not good, not great for us. Uh, you... And come over here. They put you a level 7, though. That's kind of... You're still level 1? Leo! <laughs> Concerned it! <laughs> um... Hey, you pop on to here. Y'all can fly over here. And wait, I guess. And we'll see what happens. Okay. I was gonna say, we lead them to us. Uh... My thing is... Ugh. How good are we? Don't hit us less if that's the case. Huh. <clears throat> we'll have a bow to deal with after this. this is the big problem. Takumi sucks. He sucks to deal with. That's uh that's pretty much all I gotta say. Uh you two. Mmm, yeah, that's why I was uh he's he's a he's trouble. He's definitely trouble. Uh, he's trouble. Only 55% chance to hit. We don't have to destroy him. We don't have to destroy him. We do not have to try and kill him. 55? Dang, he's gonna hit us though. Well, he's probably one of the four that we don't, we probably just shouldn't defeat, you know? You know, now that I'm thinking about it, thinking out loud, uh, here. Um... What do you have on? You have magic too, right? I wish the Takumi was in charge. Here. What's the meaning what of exactly this? do you think you're doing, Fulgent? Betraying us for Nor? It can't be true. They must have tricked you somehow, right? I'm sorry, Hinoka. I, I just... I can't abandon the ones I've loved all these years. It's as simple as that. Uh, Fulgent, say it isn't so. Okay, let's go. Sorry, but it's so. Uh, that was a kind of heavy hit. I didn't like that. 
Uh, if we put you here... Ah, uh, if we put you here... Takumi doesn't have anywhere to go, right? It's a good chance that you'll get got. And I don't think Takumi can hit us from one space away, correct? That's, uh, that's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's my hope, is that he can't go into the river and he's bit. We they put him over there. No, <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, what is this? Uh, so we can get you all the way over here. Um, you can't do anything. Uh, I might have to restart this one. If we put you here, and then we switch, uh, you could freeze. What does freeze do? It's a good question. It's a good question we have right there. Uh, freeze reduces movement to zero, and avoidance by that. Oh, we should have done that first. I think we should have done that first, huh? Uh, you also missed, so, uh, that's unfortunate. Am I dead? Oh, I'm dead. If this hits, I'm dead. I knew it would come to this, that I would have to murder you. From the moment we met, I knew I couldn't trust you, and I was right. Talk to me, please. Let me explain. I have no time for your empty words. Ryoma and the others were fools. I knew trusting Inori would only lead to death and heartbreak. But I am not Ryoma, nor my. Si but now I'm not Ryoma, nor my siblings. I won't make that same mistake. I shall take great joy in uh, slaying you here now, like, like the traitor you are. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. You uh, might actually do that, and I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, that's death. Yep. <clears throat> we're restarting. First restart of the run. Let's go. <laughs> This is the end. Forgive me, everyone. I didn't accomplish anything. You you really didn't. You just you just died. Alright, let's we'll start that again. Okay, do I even want you two paired up is the realer question now. Um now that I'm thinking about it, you uh, just wait. Just wait right there. You just wait right there. Uh y'all come down here together. Uh we can do pretty much what we did last time. And wait. They'll come to us. <clears throat> Let me check on what Felicia can do. Haha, -ha, nothing. Uh, switch. Got a 63% chance to hit that. An 83% chance to hit there, though. Which you will take 9 damage. That's okay. <clears throat> I've been training for years! Okay. Uh, you two. Finish the job. And you will be at full health this time. What's the meaning of this? Betraying us, Brunor? How could you do such a thing? Uh, close this, thank you. Ah, I can't believe this, I'm down on the ground, and so is my horse! I didn't look at the comments yet. I've read them, but I haven't read them on camera yet. Uh, we might read them at the end of- we'll read them after this battle. Now, here's where it might be useful to switch and try and have you freeze him. But you can do that from all the way over here in safety, can't you? Uh, switch- nope, you have to be a little bit closer. Uh, which is unfortunate. Let's try it. We'll try it. It worked. Excellent. Nice, 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 nice. Perfect. You're safe for another turn, which is nice. <laughs> uh, what do we want to do here is the real question. Because he can't attack us head on, right? Yes. Yep. Sorry, Takumi. Although you might not die now that I think about it. Um, let's hope. Please let me explain. You missed once. Uh-oh. Huh. That is uh not quite what I was hoping for. Alright, well, they're completely out of range, so... Uh, Leo, from head on, if you would please hit this man in the face with your magic. 
Prepare to pay for what you monsters have done. This is for mother. Please. This is for my enjoyment. He made him a tree. He made him a tree. God, I may not have honor, but you certainly have. You may not have honor, but you certainly have skill. This is not over. Cool. All right, well. Uh, my friend, glad to see that you're alive this time around. Uh, if you could please, uh, hit us with a nice heal. Thank you very much. And, <laughs> I'm playing a really, really playing Ring Around the Rosie with, uh, Ryoma over here. Uh, hey, maybe you'll hit this guy, though. I will not allow a filthy Norian to sully my honor. Oh, he hit this time! Good job! Neat! Oh, we have an even less chance to hit now. That's great. Uh, uh, we kind of need to defeat him this turn, don't we? No, we can get out of range, shockingly enough. And we... Mm, that might be something I want to save, though. We'll save that. Um... We want you to come here, and Leo... Uh, Leo, you can probably take a hit from one of these two. Famous last words, right? Leo, you can take a hit from one of these two, right? Ha ha, hee hee ha. Uh, <laughs> uh, am I frightened? A little bit. But I don't think uh, these people dying means anything, right? Because it's chapter 6, and it's just like, oh, 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 we are fine. Placed him right next to, uh, to Fulgent. I'm going to accidentally call him Obot a couple of times as the series begins, but here we go. This battle is truly lamentable. It would have broken Lady Mikoto's heart to watch these events unfold. Here I, am. I bet you it would. But you know what would also break her heart? Watching... Oh, you didn't die. Y'all, we gotta get better with our hits. Come on. Come on, gang. Y'all, uh... Really gotta get it together. Uh... You... Mm, hold on. Just for some experience. Good 20, good 20. Yep. Excellent. I must withdraw. Forgive me, Lady Mikotel. Well, she's dead. But I'm sure she forgives you in the afterlife. Ah. Uh, so. <laughs> you can low-key make a break for it. Uh, uh, do you have anything that actually drops, though? No. Then my guy? Get out of there. What do you have? You can't attack. I was gonna say, if they beefed you up and didn't beef me up when I had you, goodness gracious, I would have been furious. Come after me. Come run after me. Uh, who do I want to take you out? I'll make a Leo. My guy Leo, go for it. Although, the support between me and Felicia... Felicia should probably get a level or two as well. I don't care what happens to me, but I won't let you hurt the people I love. We already hurt all uh, three of them. Okay. You heal there. Just for the sake of saying, hey, let's heal. Uh, you try and get a level off of here. Oh, well, if you hit, <laughs> welcome to getting a level, am I right? Yeah. Well, she got turned into a tree as well. Please don't cry. Please don't cry. Well, no, it's a sh I don't understand. Well, it happened, Sakura. I'm sorry. Embrace the dark. I'm so sorry. Ryoma, everyone, please find it in your hearts to forgive me. I know that a prince of Hoshido siding with the with Nor seems like the ultimate betrayal, but I swear on my honor, I will end this war for all of us, for Nor and for Hoshido, for you, and for me. I promise you that. Until then, farewell. <gasps> Wait. Fulgent. Azura. Azura. Hey. So you're really leaving us, huh? Azura, I. You. Are you sure about this, Fulgent? Once 
done, it cannot be undone. Yeah. Yes, I know, but it's the only way. These people, I've loved them for as long as I can remember. They are my family. I see. If that's the path you have chosen, I will not try to stop you. I'm certain we will meet again. But for now, I suppose this is goodbye. Azura. Azura. Well, I guess we'll meet again. I thought she was just gonna be like, alright, I'll come to you. <laughs> what's gonna be what's good, homies? Alright, now we get to see the uh this intro, which I don't think changes. Or is skippable? No, it's skippable. <laughs> alright! Hey, you're alive oh. this time! I promise to not keep you a level 69. I feel kind of bad about that. Lilith, great timing. Eh? Huh, wait. That's not all Lilith, is it? Yes. Actually, it is. What? Uh, so, when did Lilith become a, an adorable creature thing? <laughs> creature well. thing? It's kind of a long story. I'll explain it later. Come on, I want to show you something before we catch up with the others. What? What is that light? Oh, did I did I do this? Is this my fault? Uh, yo, did I do that? <laughs> I'll explain that later too. I like that that scene's pretty much the same, kind of the same, except with Felicia. Ah, what just happened? And um, where are we? I'm sorry for frightening you, Felicia. Please allow me to explain. So. Dude, uh, Fulgen almost died, but we didn't actually see- Gosh, thank goodness I didn't have to see Gunter get yeeted off of the edge again. I would have been furious, but I'm still mad at, uh, Hans. Uh, oh, I, he's on my side this time. Dang it. I see, my word, you two have been quite the busy bees. I'm a dragon. He is a dragon. We've been busy dragons. Right. Sorry. It was a figure- You know what? Never mind. Lord Fulgen, I know the choice you just made was a difficult one. From here on out, you and your allies will continue down your chosen path. To pro- to pro- I promise to do everything in my power to help you on your journey. Even- <laughs> Throw myself in front of a blade! <laughs> well, that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen, don't ever do that again. <laughs> As such, please feel free to use this astral plane. Oh, dang. Imagine I named, uh, Fulgen Astral and it was like, use your plane! <laughs> I would've geeked. Thank you. Thank you, Lilith. Your kindness and support are very much appreciated. In these dark times, my heart dwells in total darkness. <laughs> You're so very welcome. Oh, by the way, this place is full of dragon veins. Long story short, you can use them to customize your castle so you see fit. Let's try them out. I'll see you. Later. Goodbye. And just like that. Yeah, everything is hinted. Oh, goodness gracious. In this astral plane, you can use dragon vein powers to create new buildings. Let me show you how. I know, I know how, I know, I, I know, I know, I know, gosh darn it. Uh, things are already, god, I, I, this, I do want to do a different layout this time. Uh, that's fine. <clears throat> very well, you can do it and then do the things for it, full gent. Well then. I'll be very glad to do the things, very great. Awesome. Crystal ball, I know, you won't be able to do that, here's some things. Whoa! Awesome. Uh, I, I wish- Oh! Azura's sound- Where did you get this? Well, I stole um, it from that blue-haired girl. I hope she doesn't mind. Oh, I don't have any drag- Oh, gosh. I need to get a whole bunch of more of those freaking dragon points. Dragon points, dragon points. It's almost time for dragon points. Come along, I like points. Oh, yeah, we have no food. Sorry about that. Oh, we will in a second, though. So we're starting with berries and crystals. Okay, neat. There's the records hall and my private quarters, where we can invite an ally, only Felicia. That's fine. Listen. Is this about the thing I broke? I'm so sorry. I almost broke your entire deep realm. It's crazy. Aw, thanks for inviting me over. And for not asking me to clean your room. Uh, Felicia, you're a little bit less British than I keep making you out to be. <laughs> and by a little bit, I mean completely. <laughs> anyway, um... I don't think we'll get anything better than Yato, so... And we should probably save our funds, because it was like, Oh, you'll have no gold! Oh, we'll see about that. I'll find a way. I'll find a way to give myself some gold. Uh, I can give you some berries now, that's nice. Hey, uh, this is a Look, I'm not gonna make the same mistake. I eat these berries right here, right now. I swear. 
Wow, berries, what kind? In indiscriminate named berries, love these. I'm always so grateful for any food. Thank you, I feel smarter already. Cool. All right, well, we could end it here, but I was like, you know, we should probably do like an actual map. Oh, see, like, look at that, look at that. <laughs> it's it's like a deeper, it's a deeper hue. Like the other ones were like a brighter, um, like a brighter greenish, but this 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 route is like, uh oh, looks like we're in a uh, we're in a little trouble. Looks like we're uh we're we're, we're baddies this time. All right, <clears throat> a dragon's decree. Do I want to start? I mean, I guess we should. I guess we should start. Um, save our progress there, and then we will look at our supports. And I was gonna say we probably only have Felicia support, so that's a whole lot of people. But let's do it. And that's just for Felicia. I probably have way more people. Yeah. Alright. Let's get to it. Felicia. Sniffle. Why does this sort of thing always happen to me? I've ruined yet another meal. I thought I'd follow the recipe perfectly this time. Hey, Felicia. What's the matter? Oh, no. Did you start another fire? That's the third time this month. L Lord Fulgent, no. Not, not this time. Uh, this time I just ruined another meal. Felicia, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, I, I guess. Please, cheer up. You're plenty helpful to everyone. I promise. Sorry, but I don't believe that at all. What about that last battle when you were screaming? Oh, your scream got the enemy's attention. Ah, oh, but that only got you to come after you, but you took them all out, too. I've never seen such bold strategy and such bravery. Felicia, what's wrong? Why are you crawled up on the floor again? You really don't understand, do you? That wasn't a strategy, Fulgent. I wasn't trying to- yeah, this is the same. Okay, great, great, great. I had to fight my way out or die! Oh, you could've fooled me. I wanted to be- I don't want to be a good warrior anyway. I, I want to be a good maid. I want to be able to mend clothes and wash dishes and food and do all of that. <laughs> wash food and cook dishes? Wait a minute, that's why I'm so confused! Have you seen the camp lately? There's nobody here! I guess so. I suppose you don't have to join us on the battlefield. Then I'd be completely worthless. I don't say that. You could, uh, you could help with, um... Oh, look, a face looks... I, I, I gotta go. Bye. The face is on our, our side this time. Why are you... Okay. I'm going back to my corner. Great. All right. <laughs> now, let's, uh, let's, let's do this next chapter. Um, yes. buildings. Next battle. Do we have the paralogue ready? <clears throat> the dragon gate has opened. No, we do not have the paralogue. Difficulty. Oh, we can only lower the degree. Yeah, I guess we're playing on casual. I mean, classic, rather. We'll be fine. Uh, let's see. A dragon's decree. Fulgent's love for Norian siblings prevails. And a path has been chosen. They return to the castle to tell King Garon what has happened. I wonder how he'll react. Like, huh, you are not dead or on the other side. Interesting. I guess you're evil. A dragon's decree. Let's do it. Father. I have returned, Father. So you have. Word of your work in Hoshido precedes you, son. What I've heard pleases me. Your efforts to vanquish our enemies will not go unrewarded. Very well. Thank you, Father. There's also something else. I bring good tidings. It's about Fulgent. He has returned safely to us. Our family is whole again. Fulgent has returned? What? Not dead? Huh. And not trying to murder me. Huh. <laughs> yes. Hello, father. What are you doing here, boy? Why did you come back? Huh? Father, I... Father. How could you say such a thing? Listen well. Do you take me for a fool, fool, gent? My spies are everywhere. I know that you've been at Hoshido Castle this whole time. No doubt their filthy queen has filled your head with all manners of secrets about your birth. A poor little prince of Hoshido abducted at a young age by the forces of Nor. You are surely now aware that the royal family of Nor is your enemy by birthright. Yet you came back here all the same. I cannot help but wonder why. Hmm. Smells like treachery. Betrayal. Surely he sided with the enemy. Iago. Shut up. Could it be? 
Could it be he's planning to assassinate you, King Garon? It's only logical. It can't be. No, how could you say such a thing? I would never do such a thing. No. It's true, that's simply not possible. What? No. How can you be so sure? I expect less sentimentality from a future King of Nor. I have proof that Fulgen's loyalty still lies with Nor. Although it was his first true battle, he fought off the Hoshin army all alone. Big Brother? Uh, Sander? That's not exactly- <laughs> Quiet, Fulgen, don't say a word. What's more, I saw him elect to return to Nor with my own eyes. We all did. Because of that choice, Prince Ryoma grew angry and tried to kill Fulgent. If he were a Hoshiden spy, why would he risk his life for us? Why would he alienate himself from the Hoshiden royals by protecting us? Um... Huh. Well, maybe he's not trying to kill you. <laughs> but it proves nothing. The whole thing could be an elaborate ruse. Silence! Silence, Iago. You're dumb! As a Crown Prince of Nor, I swear my on my honor that it was no act. You weren't even there, you fool. How could you possibly know what transpired? Enough. Enough, Iago. Your words have been heard and considered. Fulgent, where's the sword I gifted you before you left? Well... Ah, uh, that sword. It, ex it broke while I was in Hoshio. It exploded before my eyes. My mother, I mean, the Hoshiden Queen. If she had sacrificed herself to save me, I would have died. I see. How very touching. Um... Father, I must ask you something. Did, did you give me that sword knowing this would happen? Was it planned? <laughs> Fulgen, I don't know if now's the best time to bring that up. No. No, I must know for myself, and for the innocent Hoshidans who were killed. Father, please tell me the truth. Did you plan that explosion? Did you raise me as your son, uh, your son just to send me with that sword to die in Hoshida? No. That sword is just a sword. I know nothing, uh, nothing of this attack of which you speak. Uh, but Father... <laughs> I gave you my answer, boy. I won't say it again. Oh. Still doubting the king, are you? Those Hoshidans really got under your skin. King Garon, I think it's safe to say that we have a dirty Hoshidan spy on our hands. I see. Sadly, I must agree. Now that the war between our kingdoms has escalated, I have no choice. I cannot allow this little problem to go any further than it already has. Xander, kill Fulgent. That is an order. Huh. I didn't think this would happen so fast. What? <laughs> Xander's like, I'm sorry? <gasps> Father, stop this madness, I beg of you. <sighs> Please, no, don't hurt our brother. I'm afraid that's not That's enough, possible. princess. It is not your place to question the king's decision. Not even a queen would be able to overrule a direct command from King Garon. Do it. Xander, you have your orders. No more stalling. Proceed. Uh. I won't do it. I'm sorry, Father. Oh. Uh, what's the matter? Don't have the guts? Uh, or our, is our crown prince also a traitor? He is defying a royal order, after all. No! Stop this. Xander is not a traitor. Father, am I the cause of all of this? All this will be well if I just disappear, correct? Please don't bring Xander into this. I'll do it myself. Father? Hmm. So you're willing to trade your life for his. Fascinating. In that case, I shall allow the great Anankos to decide your fate. Who? Have we heard that before? Anankos? Anan? Anankos? Anankos? He said that before, right? I think he's. I remember trying to pronounce his name. Maybe. Anankos? Anani? <laughs> now would be a good time to start praying. Father. Father, I don't understand. What's an ananankos? <laughs> Quiet, children. I will now seek counsel of the mystic, the sacred mystical dragon Anankos. He alone shall decide Fulton's fate. Kingaron, you can't be serious. Are you feeling well? Huh? Mystical dragon Anankos? Mighty Anankos, I call upon your wisdom on this day of reckoning. Well, that's Anankos up there, I guess. Grant me a vision. Show me the way. Doom, 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 doom. That's so Garon. It's the future I can see. Understood, it shall be done. Fate has smiled upon you today, young Fulgent. As decreed by Anankos, you shall be accepted into the Norian royal family. Uh, Father, I... Thank you. What? King Garon, this is preposterous. <laughs> He's going to kill me again. <laughs> uh. 
You did the right thing, father. We are eternally grateful. Listen Not so fast. Well. Before it can be done, Fulgen must first pass the test. Now hold on, the last test you sent me on, I got sent to to, to, to Hoshido, and then I talked to all those people, and I met my mother, and she got stabbed by some sort of explosion. Well... A test? What kind of test? Hmm. Anankos decrees that you must first suppress the Ice Tribe's rebellion. Once you have gloriously fulfilled that obligation on behalf of Nor, I welcome you back into the fold as my son. And all will be as it was. Suppress the rebellion. Yes. I understand, Father. No matter what, I won't let you down. Don't worry yourself. Though do great, Fulgen. I will prepare the troops immediately. With our army at your side, we you will make quick work of that little rebellion. And then he's gonna be like, no, you have to do this alone again. You know yeah, you can do it. I'll go along too. So I can heal you if you get hurt. You fail to understand. The task at hand. To fulfill the wishes of Anankos, he must perform this task by himself. Fulgen will vanquish the Ice Tribe alone, without the help of our troops. What? What? Father, that's... that's not possible. It can't be. Father, be reasonable. Attempting to end this rebellion alone is suicide. To even get there, he must first pass the woods of the Forlorn. It's too much to ask of him, when he's still so inexperienced in the ways of the world. <clears throat> if that's so, then kill him now. I will not tolerate insolence. <clears throat> Understood, Father. I apologize for my outburst. Big brother. Don't worry, Xander. I'll find a way to do this alone. Ah, uh, somehow. Do you remember when Leo and I had so when Leo said I have the devil's luck? I love it when he says that. It must be true. You do have the devil's luck. <laughs> I swear to you, I will accomplish this task and return without fail. You'll excuse me. I must go make preparations for my journey. Very well. Fulgent, may the gods be at your side. Do not fail me. I have high hopes for you, Fulgent. Do not let me down. Yes. I won't, Father. That's a promise. Huh. <laughs> Excellent. All is going according to plan. I love him. I love him when he's cheesing. I like his smile. He is already left all alone, just as Anankos ordained. No traitor of Nor shall escape justice. Traitor of Nor? We're no traitor. Even if he begs for the sweet release of death, I won't allow it. What? He must first live long enough to lose all hope and learn the true meaning of pain. <laughs> huh. Did you hear that, Xander? So it's true. I should have known. Father intends only to make Fulgen suffer. In that case, I know what I must do. Dang, early on! Early on, you learn. Dang, that's interesting. Good! It's good to note that early on you learn of the betrayal, and we come here early. Then are we still going to repress the, um... Are we still going to repress everything that's happening in the Ice Tribe? Or are we going to stir them up or what? I don't know what's going on. <sighs> so these are the Woods of the Forlorn. I can't make it through here. I'll never reach the- if I can't make it through here, I'll never reach the Ice Tribe. I, uh, I wonder if I'm even going the right way. I've never had to go it alone like this. It's a lonely feeling. Ahem! Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Lilith. You're absolutely right. I'm not all alone here. I have you. This is so strange. The only other time I've seen her outside of the Deep Realms and a part of the story is when she was slaughtered. <laughs> When she was slaughtered in birthright. Thank you for looking after me. Having you here makes me feel a lot better. But enough of fooling around. I must fill father's command. Otherwise, like if she did more stuff like this, I feel like she would have been more prominent and her death would have been like, it would have felt like more, more, not justified, but like it, more feeling. Would have been more feeling into it. Um, than it was in birthright. Uh, I hope she doesn't die on this route, too. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, otherwise, I portrayed my birth family for nothing. <sighs> she didn't even say a word. She just said, ahem. Just a friendly reminder that, and at least she's, like, in these, like, cutscenes, too. Hmm. Wow, it's pitch black in here. 
this isn't going to be easy, is it? Hey, Lilith, does your orb, like, glow or something? Is it like a nightlight? Can you, like, hit it twice and turn the lights on? Nope! So dark, I could be walking in endless circles for all I know what to do. Oh. Lilith, was that... What was that? I think I heard something. Ah. Is that a faceless? <laughs> Can't believe it. I had no idea there were faceless in this forest. This is bad. I can't run away, though. I must make it through here no matter what. <laughs> Lilith is like, well, I can't fight that thing. You yeet, toodaloo. That means there's only one option, though. I have to fight my way through. Nice shot. Wow, such power. I'm out of my league. I have no choice. I'll have to use my dragon stone. Dragon up! Oh wait, I'm surrounded. There's more than one. I don't know if I'm completely surrounded. I'm just surrounded by both sides. I'm in deep trouble now. There's no way I can transform in time. Ay 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 ay! Hoops, gra. I did it! Hey, what's good? I did it! Oh, thank goodness I arrived in time. Are you okay? Felicia, I'm fine, thanks to you. But what are you doing here? I'm sorry, I was just so worried about you. I had to make sure that everything was okay. I was searching the bottomless canyon, then I came here, and I was like, oh, he must be in this forest. Uh, they say the spirits of the dead inhabit this forest, searching for fresh souls to take. That's scary. There was no way I was going to let you face this place all by yourself. It's not easy uh, easy to do something behind King Garon's back, but I somehow managed. Besides, Flora and Jacob and I were all moved from the chaos, uh, from the northern fortress to the castle. With both of them around, no one will even notice I'm gone. <laughs> Garon's like, nothing's broken in five minutes. Where's Felicia? <laughs> so it should be fine. Thank you. Thank you, Felicia. It was very kind of you to come after me like you did. But are you sure this is for the best? According to that dragon, I have to do this alone or it doesn't count. Uh, oh, I forgot about that part. I'm so stupid. What are we going to do? Uh, you won't be able to pass your test and it's all my fault. <laughs> it's okay, Felicia. Ananko just that I have to beat the ice tribe by myself. We're not even there yet, so I bet it's fine. <laughs> That's probably okay, right? If it's not, uh, I'll be in touch with true despair, huh? But besides, I'd be dead if I weren't even worried for you. <sighs> oh, Fulgent. <sighs> Grah. <laughs> no, it looks like we have more company. I didn't ask for your help again so soon, but uh, would you mind lending me a hand? Uh, I'm still level one and pretty weak. That's okay. Yes. Of course, after all, that's why I'm here. I refuse to let you die in this horrible place. Understood. Same here. Now let's take down these things and get out of this creepy, a uh, creepy forest, rather. All right, we can do this. Is it just the two of us? Welp. Cool. That's a lot of faceless for just the two of us. Sure hope we get a, a whole lot of uh, other units because right now it's uh, surely just the two of us. We'll definitely save. Um... Yeah, we'll definitely save there. Huh. Do I have anything in the inventory? Sure enough. Sure enough don't, right? Yeah, I was gonna say we've done like it. Oh, we have a goddess icon. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? We'll, we'll pop that. I guess we also could have immediately made uh, Felicia a mage. I mean, a witch, but I mean, like, that's that's a future us problem. Um, I, well, there's not much we can do, so we might as well just fight, right? Whoa, that's a lot of enemies. Are you sure we can handle this? Nope, okay, well, let's try anyway. I think she just kind of, kind of, she really has to kind of just be here, to be completely honest. Oh, that's a lot of them. Like, I'm a higher level, but that's surely a lot of them. Um, that's a whole lot of them. What is the best course of action? Probably to take out the one over, to, to the, the lesser ones over here, but the boss is over here. Is this defeat everyone, rout the enemies, or just kill the boss? It's rout the enemy. Love that, love that. They, this, this isn't, I'm sure this isn't just, you know, hey.
Why do you have butterish movement? I mean, if those two are coming up first... We'll do that. She literally won't be able to do anything, but they have a lower chance to hit, so that's nice. And he got one of them. Nice, 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 nice. As long as there's no reinforcements, this might not actually be all that bad. Alright. Okay, so now those guys are coming, which is not the best. You're not backing down. There's no end in sight. I hate to say it, Felicia, but we're wildly outnumbered here. Yeah, that's what I was saying when I was looking at the map. We need to plan it fast. Hello? Hello? Did you hear that? I think someone's calling out to us in the distance. Hey! Hey, Fulgen! Over here! <gasps> My guy! Phew! I finally caught up with you! You're faster than you used to be! Well... Uh, thanks, and you would be... <laughs> it's me, Silas! It's been a long time, Fulgen! You're a lot taller! It makes me happy to reunite with a childhood friend like this. Huh? A childhood friend? I'm really sorry, but I'm drawing a blank. Need to talk? So you've forgotten about me, eh? Haha, <laughs> no worries, it's been ages. We used to play together. You said you how badly you wanted to see the world. So one day I made us a picnic and snuck you out for a few hours to explore. Even I... I even packed your favorite meal, vegetarian chowder. I knew taking you beyond the walls was forbidden, but... I also knew how much you would, uh, it would mean to you. The guards tried to execute me when we returned, but you wouldn't let them do it. Oh... oh it can't be. Silas? Is that really you? Of course I remember you. That's wild. On the other round, we don't remember Silas. On this one, we do. Or I wonder if it's simply because we're male. That much I don't know. Can't believe it. It's been a lifetime since I saw you. You look so different. Yes. You too. I wanted to visit, but I was banned from ever returning after that. I became a Norian knight so that I one day may be able to see you again. And now here we are in the middle of uh, one of your messes, just like old times, haha. <laughs> if you'll allow me, I'd be honored to fight at your side. Thank you. So let's thank you. You really are a sight for sore eyes. Wait for me. Everyone hold your horses. I'm here too. Fulgent, I'm here too. <laughs> and I'm not dead. But you came as well? <laughs> of course, that's what sisters are for, right? No way I was going to let our new knight come to the rescue without me. I'm here to help you, Fulgen. I don't care what Father says. <laughs> Thank you, Elise. That means so much to me. Anyway, back to business. Silas, you're a real dummy, you know that? Me and too. <laughs> Leaving a cute little princess like me behind while you forge ahead. Shame on you. Uh -huh. I I I'm sorry, my lady. But, um, don't you have your own retainers to look after you? <gasps> well, yeah, but don't change the subject. Speaking of, they should be here soon. No so what you're saying is you left them behind to forge ahead, right? You know it. Right. Elise, you are a <laughs> She was like, I sure did. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. Oh, I see. I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> You're adorable. Go easy on Silas, okay? That was neat. I oh, does that mean we're about to get Arthur real soon? Really, really soon? Okay, I'm here for that. Um, Silas. What's your range? Might as well. She's not gonna get like any experience out of this, but it's, it is what it is. Uh, you can come up to here. That's fine. I can live with that. And we also she she didn't get experience. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, I guess she didn't really do anything. Uh, you can stand here. I don't expect you to get KO'd by anybody. And you can go ahead here and uh, I'm sorry. Can that uh, can that not heal from diagonals? Oh, you can only heal next with Freeze? Oh gosh, Freeze sucks! <laughs> the stabs are better in, uh, in good old Hoshido. Okay. Not paying, attention? Not paying attention? Poison Strike? Oh, that sucks. So they're just, I mean, like, if they just kind of, like, come in like this and this and this, that's okay by me. <gasps> it's team up time! There's nothing to fear! Arthur is here! The ally of justice has arrived! I'm sorry for letting you slip away, milady. Evil never rested. Nor should I. <laughs> Good. At least I was so worried. Thank goodness we found you. Please don't sneak off again, especially when we're all supposed to be resting. <laughs> sorry I made you worry. I was just too excited to see Fulgen again. Oh. Ah. Finally, I have the privilege of meeting Elisa's retainers. Thank you for coming. For 
Where injustice dwells, you're sure to find me. I can also be found wherever Elise is. But sometimes, those two things are not mutually exclusive. I would have gotten here sooner, but I fell into a swamp, and then a bird stole my map. And then another bird stole my backup map. Let's just say, it was an ordeal. I love him. <laughs> oh, Arthur, that is so you. He has the worst luck, hee <laughs> hee. I see. Well, all that matters is that you're here now. I didn't fall into the swamp like Arthur, but my armor did hold me back. Maybe I packed too many training stones before I left. <laughs> Effie is super strong. Effie? Effie. She's Effie. She's amazing. Haha. Oh. <laughs> Seems like you have some really special retainers, Elise. With you all on my side, I know we can make it through this. Thank you all, all of you, for putting yourselves at risk and coming to my aid. You know it. Sure thing, but Xander is the one you really should thank. He went behind father's back and <laughs> He stabbed father in the back and sent us all here to keep you safe. Huh? Xander. Well, I certainly can't die before thanking him. All the more reason to prevail. Part of me uh, hopes that Xander doesn't die during this map, uh, during this route, because, you know, that would, that would suck. I don't think any of the siblings died during their maps. Or during their routes, rather. So you're like that. This person's definitely going to perish this turn. Uh... And I guess we might as well pair some folk up, right? God, you pair up with, uh, nope. You pair up with Silas. Because I can't marry Silas, so I actually have to pair Silas off with somebody, which is crazy. We'll do this. <clears throat> Get Silas a little level, maybe. No hard feelings. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Elise? Now you can start healing some folk? And Arthur? Artie? Sure. Why not? Can you wait there? And then I guess we can just click the next turn. <clears throat> Party was like, as long as they come to us, I'm not really concerned. Yeah, we gotta really we gotta really spread this around. We gotta spread this uh spread the love around for this experience, because everyone else is pretty low level, aren't they? Okay, well now I feel like it might be more beneficial for us to make moves. Uh, so first things first, heal. Because I know he can handle at least one hit. There's two people down here, he can probably handle two hits. Uh, let's actually see what you can do. Ah, oh, heck yeah. Go for it. You get some level two. On guard! On guard! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Then let's switch and see what you can do. Hand axe. Hand axe is a ranged weapon, right? Yeah, it is. <coughs> Hmm. Switch weight there. And you continue to stand there, actually. Uh. I'm okay where we are right now. Because that'll lead you there. We might take a hit. Good. You'll take a hit, but only for two. They're just down there, our tank squad, and I'm more than happy to have them as a tank squad. Uh, they won't even take two damage from that one. Poison Strike is unfortunate, though. Uh, okay, the boss is starting to move as well, but we have time. We still have a lot of time, actually. Uh, these two, your range is there. She's still out of range for that. Uh, I'm more than okay starting off by having you try and get some damage in. 2% chance to crit them. <clears throat> he didn't crit. And he also dodged that, so good on him. Um... Really don't want you to finish it off, to be completely honest. Honestly? 
Ooh, yeah, I'm okay with this. There we go. Yeah, I'm good with that. Uh, you two. You switch. You get the experience this time around. My guy, Silas. I'm glad to see him back, and he's back so early, too. Did he come back on chapter two of the last map? Or in the last route? Maybe. He might have. Uh, so now, you can a uh, much better chance to hit. Good. Okay. Ah, oh, they still get the poison strike, though. That's unfortunate. Or you blo you're blockaded end, because you can't walk down that way. So you you have to come up and free the uh free these fools. Uh you couldn't attack, but you couldn't attack either, so Obad not Obad, gosh, I knew I was gonna do it sooner or later. Um So this is interesting in the fact that, uh, you know what you can do? Hit a freeze there. That lets everyone be safe this turn. I'll put you here, just in case. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so now this turn you can actually heal them. Justice reigns! Justice reigns! I love him. He's my. If anything happens to Arthur, we're restarting. Uh, so what we want to do. I don't have like high chances to hit, so I'm not super duper afraid. Um, what are your shields like, actually? You two. That's something that I do want to know. Because if your shields are high, I'm just, yeah, you, your shields are high. Go on, y'all can get in here and maybe do a little bit of damage. Hand axe there. Uh, twelve. Yeah, go for it. You'll get full shields. If anyone attacks you afterwards, that'll be fine. Good. Full shields. Nice. Perfecto. I'm sorry, what did you do? What kind of bite was that? What was this? Well, I hate that. Well, that's not nice. Um. Dragonstone. Good to know. We take less damage with the Dragonstone, but... Uh... Dang, I wish we really had a weapon that could hit at a range. Uh, I think it's safer to have you go up, because they wouldn't be able to reach you anyway. Uh, just take out one more person. Because you can take out these homies alone. Go for it. Granted, you might take 15 damage, which would suck. I was going to say, hopefully they both won't hit. Good. Oh, that puts you in danger, though. What's your range? Your range is just outside of that. Your range is not. Uh, you're there. So to save her, we would have to put you two here. Correct? Because that's... Yes, this would definitely save her. Okay. We cannot have her perish. 16 damage would be doom for us. Of course it would be. Oh, could this happen? It's only been me to perish, too. It's only been Fulgent. He's not shining brightly. We're going back. Let's pair up Fulgent with Arthur. Have them as a pair up. And that gives Fulgent a boost. Is it enough of a boost? We'll have to wait and see. Good. Okay. Uh, do I feel safe sending you two down here again? Not entirely. I don't think I want to send them down. I think I just want them to continue coming up to there. Um, do I want you two to pair up is a real question. Uh, two magic, two luck, two resistance. I mean, sure. 
four damage. We have to have Fulgen and Arthur come back this way. It is the Poison Strike, really, that is uh, causing us the most issues. I think if we could walk this way and just block this bridge, that might be, that might be what we need to do. That might be what we need to do. Because if you can come here and y'all can heal there... Uh, you wouldn't be able to reach them, so I just have to rely on Fulgent taking out you, which is very doable. You're at full shields now, and that's good. Uh, just that group would be in danger. Hmm, hmm. That's where I think we switch to you. You would get hit for one damage, but then Poison Strike is something we cannot count out. Because, like, getting hit by, like, four Poison Strikes is still devastating. Yeah, see, like, that's just one. You'll come and attack there. That's enough to do some major damage, but not enough to... Oh, you missed! Oh, that's even better. Poison Strike, but whatever. Um... You're coming there, full shields, that person's gone. I think we take advantage of our landscape and take advantage of the bridge. I think that might be the way to do this. And then have our healers in the back just at a constant ready to heal. Because in that case, they can't attack us from multiple sides. They can only attack us from head on, and we're still good because that'll do six at most. <sighs> My thing is, can we make it over there? Uh, let's look at what we have right now. Uh... Uh... That has to be done. That... This has to be done. That has to be done this turn. You... Hit the Staff of Healing... Right there. Uh, Scylla still has moderately decent HP. I just wish Scylla were in charge because then he would have more movement. Uh, switch. Switch. Neither of you have any healing items, which also sucks. Uh, switch. 14 and 11. I think Scylla might be our better bet. Because they're gonna, they're gonna take three hits. Uh, they might just be doomed. Um, maybe it would have been a decent opportunity to try and hit a freeze on some enemy over here so they only take two hits. Uh, but that's a, uh, something in the past. What we're gonna, I think, have to do is you might have to be in charge. Because we need you to run. And you have the better move. Six damage. Which is really gonna be like 11 damage. Because we're about to get hit with one of those, uh, poison strikes. Sure is. Uh, this is gonna be four and it's probably going to be game over unless one of them misses. Nope. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, Silas. I should have known better. Let's try Operation Capture the Bridge this time. They can only attack us from one side. Silas is now in charge, so we have better movement. Um, I think the first thing first would be for you to heal Fulgent. Fulgent. <laughs> Gets a full heal. Fulgent comes over here. Probably takes this person. And earns full shields and dodges as well. That was the best possible outcome. Uh, now, we're actually in pretty decent shape. Because you can come here. Wait. You can come behind this line. And honestly wait as well. And now we have the bridge. Now we have the bridge and over here is clear too, right? We got much better RNG on this run from the bridge side. Okay. We're in much better shape. I have much more faith in this setup. And I think that's something I might have to remember for just conquest in general, is to actually make sure we're taking advantage of 
the maps, the map layouts. Um, here, you can wait there. And you can wait there. And now we let them do the damage to us, and we have our healers there and there. Let's see how this works out. Yeah, because we have team... We got team... <laughs> team tank over there. Yeah, this is... This is the solution. They get... They keep getting... Ooh, is it the... It's the solution. It's still the solution. Um, because they still get, um... They'll still get levels from healing every turn. It's just Dragon Fang already. Goodness gracious, good on you. Dragon Fang has helped me a lot in uh, Birthright. Hey, alright, so you heal up there. And Young Elise, heal up there. And that puts him at full health. Yeah, this is I have much more confidence in this uh this route. Or this turnaround. Uh, let's switch. Because I would like you to get some experience as well. And we're not moving you. I'm surprised they attacked old Effie <laughs> when uh, they were going to do zero damage. Alright, there we go. And then you to right there. That is a noble Yato defeat. Um. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, you don't really need a heal. I guess we'll just keep healing like this. Because you can get some scenes with Effie, too. That's fine. Now we have a turn to see, like, look at that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. She's already at six. And then you, we can switch. Honestly, because I don't think we're going to have anyone get attacked this turn, you can try and get a shot. Ready for this? Good job. Yeah, I mean, you, I do want you to get some experience, too. Um, Because this turn, we're going to end. Yeah, this turn we're going to end, and we can just see what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, this was the solution. Oof, it was a matter of I can't move anywhere unless I start moving earlier, and this is- it, I just saw the map and I was like, this is where we need to be. Because then we can hold them off at the bridge. It's just a matter of holding off, because then you can't get attacked like three or four times per turn. You could at most get attacked twice per turn, and these two sets of characters can get attacked twice per turn and be fine, but the poison strikes on every single person. Um, but these two, they can just stand in the back and heal because they'd be out of danger because nobody here has range. Right? Right. The gauntlets, I mean, they could potentially have range, but I don't think they do. Um... Screw it, just end the turn. Yeah. That's 14. Oh, I forgot to switch to... Oh, that's fine-ish. Yeah, that's fine. At the very... I was gonna say most will take 7. Yeah, that's okay. Even when you make a mistake like that, it, like it's at most you'll take X amount of damage. Because the other team, Team Tank, is just Team Tank. They might be together for a long time. <laughs> they are Team Tank. Uh, do not forget them. Uh, what I will do is have you... No. Mm, no. Uh, what I will have is you heal Arthur. Arthur is not going to be in charge because the boss will attack Arthur and Arthur will die to the boss. What we will have happen is you come through. Yeah, maybe Arthur will pick up a little bit of experience there. Uh, you two. I guess it's a matter of who I want to attack whom. Uh, you're at level 6. Silas, so, so you're at level 7 yet? No, I think you're probably closer to level 7. Let's try and get you to level 7. I'll do my best. He's very close to level 7 now. Um, it would be nice if we could heal... Fulgent. But instead, let's just try and hold off the boss for a turn. Am I worried about the boss? Not super duper worried, but... If I can get a turn to heal... Um, 
heal the homie over here. Heal, uh, heal Fulgent. Then I, um... I'm gonna take it. Because that's our main character. That's our brooding... That's our brooding pro uh, protagonist. Uh, let's see. If we switch, she's still pretty tanky right now. I think Silas is, like, right at the level up. But, I mean, like, let's get them... Neck and neck. Yeah. They both need, like... One more, one more good hit. And now, let's end this. Game. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You're only gonna do nine at most. Uh, let's see if they both get in a little bit of experience. That'd be nice. Good. You two, maybe? No, nope, just you. Silas could get the level up. Now it's a matter of who I want to get the level up. Still not worried. Uh, you would literally do nothing, but your dagger would lower something. No damage, but... Yeah. Um... Defense magic and resistance. Uh... Let's see. Admittedly... It's not a guarantee. That's not a good enough for guarantee for me. Um, I don't think we can get a guaranteed KO on this homie. What we do is get the 16. Definitely heal Fulgent. And I think at this point we can swap here. No matter what, we won't get attacked this turn. Yep. That's our path to victory. Taking the bridge. Figured it out. What I realize now is that we're going to have to do some deep diving analysis of the maps before we walk into this. Because I did have to restart twice. One time, entirely my fault because I just wasn't paying attention. And I realize now, gotta pay attention to Conquest. <laughs> Whew, it appears all the faces have been finally dispatched. Good work. Woo! Yay, we did it! Go, team! We what a bean. It. I missed her. I'm glad she's not dead. I can't believe we actually won. Amazing! Now to make our way through this forest and head back to the Ice Tribe Village. Yes. It's such a dark forest, though. Hope we don't lose our way. It'll be fine. Oh, dear, that's not possible. I can guide us to the village from here. It's where I was born, after all. I could get there with my... I could, I could get us there with my eyes closed. I'll keep him open, though. Otherwise, I'll surely trip. Goodness gracious, Felicia. You. Felicia, you never cease to amaze me. Uh, whenever you're ready, just lead the way. Yes. Okay, everyone, stay close. Anybody else? I was gonna say we stayed there for a hot second. <sighs> well, well, well. Drat. So our false prince made it through the battle in one piece. After all, I went through troubling an army of faceless. This is Prince Xander's fault, the traitor. Though King Garon is not without blame. Well, that's really interesting. I don't see why he would allow that child to live after being tainted by the Hoshidans. It is truly beyond my understanding. Luckily, he has me to set things right. That's right, Fulgent. Enjoy this brief respite. <laughs> well, I guess our enemies are still our enemies, huh? Guess so. I guess Iago's still trying to hunt us down and murder us. Hell is waiting for you as soon as you leave this forest. Prepare to suffer and die. Well, that sucks. Oh, that's unfortunate, really. I wish I didn't have to do that. Suffering and dying sounds uh, rather unpleasant. Okay, so first and foremost... Um. Uh, ooh, the lottery shop, though. Hold up. I mean... I'll be getting a whole... I think the mess hall is also going to be a, a lot more important in this run. Uh, we'll start with the staff shop, though, because that's just, you know, things to purchase. Although we are, like, we will be low on, like, things. Lottery shop. I know a lot of you may be questioning, why is he getting the lottery shop? Um, well, that's a good question. <laughs> it really is. Um, buildings, units, castle settings. Uh, change the style, Wind Tribe style. Um... Oh gosh. Oh goodness gracious. Don't hate it though. Yes! Uh. Who's my. 
shoot. Oh, that's a big old rock. I kind of like this one. I do kind of like this one. I do want it to be like, you know, noticeably different than our, uh, our waterlogged one from last time. Uh... Nestrian is the water one. Castle with walls. Chev. I like the wall colors. Yes. You know, I feel like this is more about castle battles than it is, um... Than it is about, you know, actually just having that, your favorite. You? Um... I feel like we started with Hoshin style and I was like, oh, I know the Hoshin style is kind of really nice. I do like the uh, the cherry blossom trees. Um, but we're the villains, so we're not even, it doesn't even seem like we're the villains at this point. Um, but I am going to change this to the large rock. And then in terms of... Assistance fine. We'll change the name at some point. Uh, Justice Rip. Thorn and you. Knowledge. Quiet burn. Conquest. Dark. Lingering clouds. Dim moonlight. Prelude to disaster. Shine in the dark. Dance in the dark. A shine of the light, dance in the dark. Unfamiliar streets. How can that be? How can that be? I do love the truth teller. Advanced confusion. City ruler. Demobus. Are you listening? What can you do? No cure for. Rejoice in love. Ah, that's the S scene music if I've ever heard it. Pedals in the wind. Oh, I do like that song. Reminiscent. Boo doo doo doo. No. In the stars. New power. Boo. Ember of Hope. There's a lot of songs in this game. Open for business. Oh, that makes sense. I like Sound of Hammers. We'll go with Santa Amherst. Change the name later at some point. We're gonna save real quick. And then, most importantly, what's most important? Uh, let's go through. We have to pick up some of this. <clears throat> Thank you, Silas. We gotta pick up the lottery shop. Some random dude. Random dude, you better give me something good. What if you just gave me a gold ball off the bat? I would've screamed. Uh, you want a consolation prize. Two rubies! Ruby, 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 ruby! Thank you. And then... We'll feed the dragon. More berries. Nose astral breath. Wonder if I could like it. Somehow get Lilith as a unit. Not through legitimate means. <laughs> I mind you. But you know, I'm just, you know, curious. So yeah, that'd be pretty cool all of a sudden. Lilith! Use Astral Breath! Destroy the fiends! Alright. And then we'll hop over here and talk to you. Check out my skill. I feel as good as gold today. Good. We really gotta get you uh, some levels and put you with something that's- We have no seals. We have no seals. We have no seals. We have no money either. Uh, I need to feed this dragon a whole lot so that she gives me gold bars, because that might be my only source of funding. Here we are again in my treehouse. I don't know why I have one of those. Alright, cool. Uh, I think we're set. Did we not get any- I was gonna say, did we not get any supports? We should have gotten some supports. We got a couple supports. Silas Fulgent, probably. 
Silas and Effie, that makes more sense because they were paired up. And then me and Arthur. All right, let's start with me and Arthur. Justice. Hmm. Do you smell that fulgent? It is the sweet smell of justice. I take it from your exuberance that you have returned from a mission of justice. I received word that a group of ne'er-do-wells was on the attack. I've just disbanded their society of injustice and rescued the town they were terrorizing. Ne'er-do-wells, you say. Interesting. Was it a difficult battle? Not in the least. Where whenever I stare evil in the eye, evil always blinks fast. Ah. That's great, right? It sounds great. Just what I'd expect from the hero of Nor. There's a lot of villainy running rampant on our streets. Somehow you remain a bright light in this everlasting darkness in the soul and the kingdom. I really admire how you devoted yourself to helping the helpless. You are too kind, my lord, but truly it was no trouble at all. Ha! But your pants are covered in mud. Didn't, they didn't hurt you, did they? Oh, that's actually unrelated. I was hit by a couple of carriages, a couple of them? A couple of carriages on the way back. Huh, you mean to say that two different carriages hit you in one day? And after that, the town's self-defense force, uh, force took me, uh, mistook me for a thief. They chased me for a good, uh, I don't know, 10 miles. God, that's awful. You must have been born under a truly unlucky star. Oh, so they say. Oh, I'm sorry, but I must take my leave now. I promise to deliver some much-needed medicine to the village elderly today. Thank you for the chat. Fulgen. Justice, thy name is Arthur. What a character. I do hope he makes it through his delivery in one piece. Interesting. All right. And then Silas, Effie, I guess you guys, the the king and queen of the the king and queen of defense. Go ahead. Silas, can I ask you a question? Sure, Effie. What is it? Why are you fighting in this army? What do you mean? Well, I mean, I'm here because I'm sworn to protect Lady Elise. I owe her everything. She is my best friend, so <clears throat> it is a natural arrangement. But you're not anyone's retainer. What's in it for you? Oh, I see. So you think I'm some kind of mercenary? No, that's not it. I guess I'd struggle with motivation if it weren't for Lady Elise. And yet you're so dedicated, and one of our strongest fighters. So if you're not in it just for yourself, why are you here? Well, Effie, I'm really no different than you. I'm here to protect Fulgen. We have a long, complicated history, but I would do anything to protect him. That's all there is to it. I don't think that's true at all. What? How can you say that? The part about you being no different than me, that's just not true. Well, I'm not gonna stand here and argue with you. This has really interesting, like, vibes of, uh, Silas and Hana. Continue. But it seems rather obvious to me. I'm sorry, I'm probably overreacting. I guess I'm just a bit sensitive. Uh, just hold off on comparing the two of us until you get to know me better, okay? Fair enough, Effie. Hmm. Felt like Hana, but was a little bit more calm and caring than Hana. Well then, that's all of our supports, but you thought that I'd forget. We still gotta go through those comments from last time. They've been open right here the entire time. <clears throat> and I'm ready to view them. I've already viewed them, but I'm ready to read them. We're gonna end with the comments this time, shockingly enough. Anthony's up. It's the end of Birthright. One third of the route's completed. Excited for conquest, partially because of Owain and Arthur fighting to be the Revelation Corrin's husband. Owain's got some work to do because I've loved Arthur so far. Um, Scarlet's not in conquest, dang it. And Yato upgrades again. Rebel Heart, you know crap's about to go down when that plays. Oh yeah, when Garon was like, oh no, you're doomed. And I was like, oh Garon. This is gonna end in one turn. You got me once, shame on me. You made me redo everything. I'm gonna get you this time, shame on you. Azora kind of just dies, yeah. Then we see Ghost Azora? I don't know. We can see Ghost Azora, we can see Ghost Garon too, right? Not not here for that energy, but you know, that means they're not safe in Birthright. Uh, pretty sure the Branch of Fates just lets you make a new core, and it did. Uh, does not let you change, uh from casual to classic though. I could still do that on the save file editor. However, I don't think I will. I think we'll just try and carry on with classic here. Fingers crossed. 
Uh, just want to point out that Hayato's little title on the ending screen is just the kid. That's kind of funny. Uh, thank goodness this game is not dumb. And then Three Hopes, yeah, this was, uh, this is important for me because I had to put it in my calendar. Three Hopes does in fact come out on June 24th along with the Somnium Files. Man, that's gonna be... So many games that I want to play in so little time. Lauren, in which Scarlet teaches Obot how to bedazzle. That, that she did. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Jessica, before Awakening DLC should be played after you have all three of the retainers, um, or rather the Elysians recruited on Conquest, it doesn't have anything to do with Fate Story, so you don't have to wait for any plot stuff. It's just they probably have, um, dialogue between probably Krom and whoever else is in that, uh, paralogue. Or DLC Xenologue, that's what it is. Corrin, as a Corrin section rather, uh, Corrin sexual rather, Anna has different scenes with male Corrin, which we will probably see. We couldn't find a single woman in the entire army who likes romance novels. I highly doubt that. I completely agree. Shiro's scenes with Keldori are a series of Smokey the Bear references. Also, had Dwyer and Keldori end up together. On my playthrough, Shigiri married Mitama and Rajat married Hisame. As you saw earlier, I was like, dang, I kind of wish I had Shigar uh, Shigiri marry Mitama. We'll have to wait and see. Rajat. Uh, occasionally lowers... Uh, occasional... Lowered med damage was due to her weapon. Dragon Spear was an A rank, so it had, yeah, A rank weapons. Huh. Ah, hate to see that. Uh, looks like Astra does give shields for each hit, which is pretty dang dope. It makes Astra one of the best uh, things in this game, in my opinion. If I'm being completely honest. Uh, let's see. Buff Obod. You love to see Buff Obod. Uh, if you see Garon in Heroes, he has his dragon form instead of his axe. Huh. Have I seen him? I haven't actually opened Heroes in a hot second. Uh, sorry, lost some thoughts, all alone, Hoshido version, it's Rebel Heart time, and thus Azura dies from seeing the final map theme, goodness gracious. Here's Ghost Azura reminding everyone to buy $20, <laughs> the $20 true ending route before the eShop shuts down, thanks Ghost Azura. I mean, like, you could do that, but I'm sure it's like, somewhere for free not that i would know anything about that ryoma wasted on his first night of being the king hey look he just became the king he's yeah, he's i i believe in him he, he deserves it i might marry miko to hold up don't mistake orochi's name for that of your mother i mean like you know that was her retainer so you know you know like mother like retainer uh sakura probably yelled at him and he liked it oh, those were my words uh you saved ryoma obad rajat sophie and kana as a Einherjars. You can talk to the castle attendant using the unit logbook and recruit them if you have enough gold. They keep the oh, they keep their level stats, uh, stats class, skills, and weapon wow, weapon ranks, which is awesome. You can technically have Ryoma on conquest, but he won't come with Rea Raijinto. That's unfortunate. That's the best part. Uh, for the last minute supports, I viewed those or I viewed most of them. I think we didn't see Takumi and Karagi. Um, we viewed a lot of the, uh, the ending ones there. Sal the Artist, Azura has been cancelled by Redacted. Dude, Azura singing Lost and Thoughts All Alone, Hoshio version, and due to Redacted having a copyright claim to the song, so we take uh, her away to the kingdom of Redacted. Do not add us. Goodbye, foolish human. I have Azura in my kingdom forever. Poor Azura. Poor- Yeah, I, I also realized that I was like, what part of this has a copyright claim? And I was like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> Maybe I should have played Rebel Heart the whole time. <laughs> I don't really care. It's not a copyright strike, so I'm like, oh, whatever. Uh, the gaming bear. It's all over. I can't believe it's all over. We finally have the truth. And of course it was Felicia. Wish we could have gotten a great confrontation between the two, but maybe they didn't need one. Uh, it, would, it just would have been like, oh, you Felicia. And Felicia would have been like, oh, I couldn't I couldn't do anything. Gar would have been, he would have murdered us. He would have murdered everyone. He would have murdered, and then they, all of this would have been for naught. And then, yeah, exactly. Um... Because Obad might just have too much love for Alicia to be angry at her, but Garon, yes, who truly stole her eye that day. And I guess Obad was technically right, she did lose her eye to ice, it's true, it is true. Sadly, it wasn't safely in case though, uh, it seems Obad's eye was turned into water with Garon and Azora, but she truly did not need it anymore. Obad never needed her eye to become strong and capable person she needed to be. She never needed her eye to liberate Nor and make her dear departed mother proud of her. She doesn't need to wink though. She didn't need her eye to become strong. She just needed all of the the stat boosting items that I had in my inventory to become strong. <laughs> Kinda headcanon that scene uh, with Azora 
it wasn't just Obad, but with uh, Azura's family as well. I can imagine how brokenhearted Caden was. Oh my gosh. And after seeing these scenes with uh, Shigure at the very end, uh, or I guess at the very start of this episode, I can imagine how heartbroken he must have been. And of course, Selkie would in tears. Now, while writing... Uh, the writing of uh, the writing of Fates rather is rocky. Where's the real Xander? Uh, we finish off this with a truly bang, with truly with a bang for Obad's storyline. I will miss Obad greatly, and can't wait to see the new character. I kind of want to see you use the shorter body type for the male. I just never, yeah. Well, luckily for you, I was like, I kind of want someone the opposite of uh, <laughs> opposite of Obad, and then we got one. Dark and gloomy boy, or is he? Do I have plans for him? Kind of, sort of. But we'll see how that goes, because my mind just might be like, hey. <laughs> Let's do a quick switch. Um, I'm sure, I'm once again sure that the new character will have his own great story. Uh, and I will have, and we'll have wrestling matches for his spouse. <laughs> I don't know about that, but you know, it was pretty fun the first time, so I'm totally not against it. Um, I just have no idea. I have no idea who's going to be the potentials for this route could it, it could be anyone because i'm not familiar with anyone on this route except for the sisters who i'm not blood related to so i'm like well i mean like you know maybe um can't wait to see how you react to the story of conquest because oh boy if we thought some of uh birthright's route uh, uh some of parts of birthright was rocky writing cough cough xander you don't want to know we'll see uh, now I'm off to make the longest family tree of my life. I saw I saw the start of it on um on the Discord. I saw it in general uh, just earlier today. Do you have some additions to make already, don't you? Because <laughs> we did pair off uh, Sophie and Asugi and Nathan. And so our time in the white light comes to an end or something like that. As much as I like Lost in Thoughts, it's been long enough since I've heard the full song uh, that I don't remember the lyrics well enough. Not a total downer, rather, not to be a total downer, but there's something about Birthright's ending that makes me feel, well, nothing, I suppose. Although it's sort of a complaint that I could, uh, levy at two of the three routes and baits, uh, I just don't feel anything after beating them. Conquest lets me feel something, but only really after playing Birthright, which is probably a good thing. It's a very much if you know, you know sort of thing. I won't worry about too much, I won't, I wouldn't worry too much about cheesing the final boss in one turn. Whenever I play Birthright, I do the exact same thing. It was very impressive, though, that Obad managed to kill Garon with the exact amount of damage that she needed. She was like, I'm making this picture perfect. Obad, with the perfect ending. Um, that's a lie for Birthright. Now we bid farewell to Busted Ryoma. <laughs> I miss him. For a route that has significantly better unit balance, I know we've all hyped up Conquest as being this tough as nails things, but don't worry, it's not really that bad. Is it hard? Totally! Is it the easiest is it uh it's easiest the heart uh, it's easily the hardest fire emblem game you've played so far but at the end of the day it was made to be beaten and you will beat it my main advice going to conquest from a holistic point of view check enemy skills because almost every enemy will have at least one feel free to speed up the battle animations but try not to uh try to avoid skipping them but only to keep some track of how you will get debuffed fair um fighting hoshido means fighting a lot more ninjas than you did on this route so you'll be getting debuffed a whole lot yay oh yay yay for yay to that oh that's my favorite oh man that's gonna suck that is going to suck and don't ignore enemy healers, you saw it in the final few chapters, there are some pretty wacky stabs that the enemies can use, and when we encounter them, Azama has some famously evil ones. Checking enemy inventories is also a good idea. Since on Conquest, some will have enemy exclusive weapons, Star Axes are ones that come to mind for me. Thank you for that. <clears throat> I guess we're doing Conquest on, uh, on Classic. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> We'll get through it, we'll get through it. It's only, what, 20, 28 chapters again, or 27? Who knows? Uh, Sonic Gaming, you want the truth, Obad? You can't handle the truth! That was my first time, uh, thought seeing this title, which was just the truth. After typing this, uh, and playing Fates, watching the game tells me that it's Kano's birthday! I'm gonna go give my Dragon Son a present. He's such a bean. By the way, Gale Force got nerfed. In order to trigger, you must kill the enemy without being supported by a teammate. whoop de doo Gale Force sucks now. Oh no, Zora's been hit by the Thanos snap, Spider-Man saver. <laughs> Obad, I don't feel so good. <laughs> 
I'll recommend watching the Saizo Kagero support. Ah, that's the one that I forgot. <clears throat> I'm sure it was delightful. Those two, they are, I was gonna say, they're so similar. In their watching of Obad, to say the least. Um, but I'm excited to see how the rest of this route goes. I'm excited to see how Azora comes clear, she will clearly come into our party at some point. Don't know how, are we gonna kidnap her or is she just willingly gonna be like, you know, no, no, hold on, I'm, I'm going back to Nor. Y'all are, y'all are tripping out here. Um... And when that happens. And I'm excited to get Shigure back. Yeah, I am. Anyway, I think that's all the time that we have. Is it? I do believe it is. <sighs> Conquest. We're here. Obot's story has officially ended, perhaps. And Fulgence has begun. We got some work to do now. <laughs> we got some work to do. Is there anything else I can do while we're here? Um, well then, because we have oh we have Paralog one. Oh, we get um we get uh who is it? We get um <clears throat> I keep reading we're already on chapter eight. We did skip the first six chapters, which is kind of nice. Um, I don't know if skipping the first six chapters is good though. Because maybe we could have gotten to a higher level than we were. However, we're like at level 10 now already, which is pretty, pretty dang good. Um, Dragon's Gate, difficulty. We could pick up the gifts from Ana real quick, couldn't we? Hidden truce. Oh, before awakening, there you are. Nice, okay. Uh, Ana on the run. Oh, I guess we could pick up an Ana too. Uh, I think we might want to- I might want to wait for that. Gift from Ana, Witch's Trials, another gift from Ana. Let's get a gift from Ana real quick. <coughs> Welcome. Thanks Welcome. for stopping by! You get to take a thing! What is this? Give me the Witch's Mark again. <laughs> And then we can just finish those. I've never done those match, which is interesting. Uh, save it right there. And then we'll get the other thing too. What was the other thing? I think the other thing wasn't even a choice. It was just like, here, take these things. Uh, right here. Another gift from Ana. <clears throat> what are you giving me? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's these, uh, it's these seals, right? And some boots. Never mind, I'm wrong. Wait, what is this? Don't, don't forget to be a thing. All right, give me that, thank you. Okay. Not bad. We have a paralogue next time, maybe next time. I have no idea. Gotta really like pay attention to conquest. But I was gonna say, I assume the paralogue's gonna be pretty much the same. Although, yeah, it's, I didn't expect for like everyone to be like, oh yeah. Garon's evil this early in Conquest. I'll, I'll just talk about Conquest for like a hot second. Um, from what I've gotten from it so far. Um, I feel like the way that we've chosen our side is a little bit weird. Not that weird, like I, I, I kind of get like wanting to stay with the people who you've uh, been with your entire life for the most part. However, Garon tried to kill us. He did, but I guess you would trust the people on your side more? Who knows? I don't know, but it feels like they're both- It feels like the only real answers that there should be are Birthright and Conquest. Not Conquest, Birthright and Revelations. Conquest just seems like a weird direction to take. But I'm excited to see how the story plays out. Even if the ro even if the writing's a little bit rocky, even if it's a little bit rocky, we'll have fun with it. <laughs> Just like we had fun with Obad and the Adventures of the Eye. Stay classy. You're the Zenith. Toon Link Dave. Anomaly. The Anomalakars. You're United States Savior. Tutelage. Like group. Thanks for watching.